welcome to Dork Tales. This is Critical Care. A hospital drama powered by the apocalypse. I can't, I couldn't even keep it together. <laughs> so, uh, oh, that was hey. so difficult. No, no. So, hey, everybody, how's it going? Welcome to, this is uh, Dork Tales Critical Care. Um, this is The Ward, a powered by the apocalypse medical drama game that I've been threatening to run for Caitlin for two years now. And uh, so if you are tuning in right now, this episode has been pre-recorded so that you have some content while I'm on vacation. Uh, so tonight we are going to be playing The Ward, which is being eaten by my green screen. Uh, but we um, we would like to advise you that nothing that we do tonight is actual medical science. And uh, if you do have a growth or a wart, you should go and get, you know what, just, just enjoy this episode because you're worth it. <laughs> The almost medicines. got it. Almost got it. <laughs> You're very close. <laughs> is, that, is that your nurse voice in real life? You're very close. Fuck no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm already crying, guys. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so folks, yeah, this is a game uh, set using Powered by the Apocalypse, which, if you are not aware, is a fantastic engine uh, that was developed for the game Apocalypse World. Uh, basically, it's a 2D6 engine that is very narrative heavy, which really fits games like this, which are basically TV shows. Uh, so I am going to be your Master of Ceremonies, which I have renamed the Hospital Director, uh, because it just sounds better. See, I was hoping for medical director because then I'd be an MD. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> see, is that my better? Brain, my yeah. HD, you could be oh, the, I'm the director of care or like master of care or something. I'm just like, none of these are good. Master of care. I'm the care bear. Um, <laughs> it's kind of going that way, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, anyway, I'm Kelly. I'm going to be your hospital director tonight. Uh, you've seen him. And I am excited to be here because this game is going to be Redonk. Uh, mm -hmm. We have no idea what it is because uh, we, I have no idea what's going to happen because Powered by the Apocalypse games are designed to play to find out what happens rather than lots of plotting. So I have done zero plotting for this game aside from Hospital. Um, and I watched like an episode of New Amsterdam before this mm -hmm. on Netflix while I was finding my stethoscope. <laughs> um, and thank you, Caitlin, for the stethoscope. It, oh, of course. It makes me look 50% more competent just putting it on my shoulders. <laughs> Like, watch, watch. Oh, <laughs> oh well, see, there it see, is. see, you're a doctor now versus just like a scientist. Oh, God. Scientists are the worst, especially like <laughs> organic scientists. <laughs> All right. So uh, I'm going to pass I'm the ball. I'm an English major. I can't talk. <laughs> I'm a historian, so that's stupid. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go take ahead. my BSC and shove it up your ass. <laughs> yeah, I've got Ooh. enough BS up there already, buddy. <laughs> Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and pass the ball down the line. First of all, let's say hello to Amy. Hi, I am Amy. I use she, her, and they, them pronouns. And today I am playing the genius intern, what did I go with? Dr. Lila Richards. Mm. Yeah, um, that's going to be interesting. She's addicted to coffee. That's why I have as my the brand Skyfire brand coffee mug. Available at tpublic.com. Slash user slash door tails. Uh, uh, anything else we need to know? For uh, no, we're going to work through the rest of it. So let's oh. pass it over to Caitlin. I'm Caitlin. Um, I use she, her pronouns. And tonight I'll be playing the arrogant resident Dr. Ophelia Jones. Nice. I'm really excited. <laughs> okay. And I, I bought, I just, I just uh, backed a bunch of new music on Humble Bundle, so we've got some pretty cheesy songs to play. No offense to anybody who made them, but in the context, they are cheesy. Yes. Uh, especially that one. It's going to be so good. Um, <laughs> okay. I think that's going to be the episode ender, too. Uh, all right. And what is, what's your, your addiction is Instagram, if I'm not mistaken, right? Oh, yes. Sorry. I'm addicted to checking our Instagram. Okay. Mm, like, preening yourself. Nice. Um, Robin. Hello, uh, I am Robin. I use she, they pronouns, and tonight I am playing the, uh, uh, there we go, optimistic intern, uh, Dr. Stephanie Fisher, who is addicted to uh, thrill seeking. She's got to have that intense life or death moment. She okay. loves that adrenaline, man. All right, and finally, Krista's in the corner. 
Hello, uh, I'm Krista. Uh, you can use she, her, or they, them pronouns for me. Uh, but today you can use he, him for Dr. Anthony Welling, because uh, it's the best pun name I could come up with for a doctor. Um, <laughs> uh, he is a old specialist, uh, although I'd, I, like the, the benefits of it were good, but I was like, well, I don't want to be old, but I guess that makes sense. Uh, anyway, he is addicted to moping. <laughs> You picked moping? Moping. He's very brooding. God, he's I could have gone with brooding, I guess, but moping was better. <laughs> it's moping. moping on it's moping on the wiki. It's Sounds brooding. Good. I he, mean, call it what it is. And he's a specialist, right? Yes. What is he a specialist in? I haven't decided that yet. I figured okay. I'd work with everybody and figure out where we're right, in the hospital. So that sounds good. Oh, so, right, yeah. All right, so a couple things about the system just so everybody is aware. So the way that it works is that um, the game is... Powered by the Apocalypse games and all role-playing games really are done in the form of a conversation. So we're going to have a conversation and my job is to basically enhance the drama and ask you questions and then get lazy because I love that this is a low prep game. Uh, in general, you describe what your characters say or do while I decide I explain the world around you, including NPCs, as per normal game. Uh, what happens is you roll 2d6, you add your stats. If they are a uh, under a certain threshold, such as I believe it's 6 or lower, yeah, 6 or less, it is a miss. Usually, uh, seven to nine is is a weak hit. Ten plus is a strong hit. So basically, you're trying to get as close to box cars as possible. Um, except unless you're being a dick, in which case you are being condescending. So you're actually trying to go for low. And then show. same with the stress to to get rid of stress. You want yep. low as well, I think. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so um, anytime you miss a roll in a situation, you gain one perk. Uh, so remind me of that. So a situation is basically like um, the breakdown is so they have locations in this. Then they have um, scenes, which are like you are in the hospital. It is the day shift portion of the scene. And then a situation arises, which is like a crash cart comes in and it's like, oh, no, there was a, you know, a multiple gunshot wounds, a GSW, GSW, because that makes us sound more official. Because um, <laughs> all the shows are saying that now. And it's like. G-S-W, mm -hmm. gunshot wound. It's the exact same number of syllables. Sure is. Is it less intimidating for people? I don't know. I don't get it. Probably. Because G-S-Dub would sound dumb. G-S-Dub. Because then people would be like, watch the G-S-Dub step. <laughs> Someone shot Skrillex. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Tone, his bass oh, is no. dropping. <laughs> anyway, this is going to be the game tonight. Okay, uh, so <laughs> benefits. Uh, Benefit is a specific object, resource, or circumstance that allows you to push, uh, which means gain plus one, uh, when use is fictionally appropriate. They are usually applicable to a specific theater or specialty and will provide their boost for a single session. This is the gear. So there are some examples. Um, a benefit is only of use for a single session, uh, and it only works when narratively appropriate. I, I doesn't say how many you get, so I think everybody gets one probably. You get them from things, don't you? I, I and I think yeah, we'll get until further into the game, but yeah. we could start with one. Yeah, I'd let you. Oh yeah, you you spend three perks to get one. So I'll yeah. let you start with one. And here are some examples, and I love the second one. Uh, for one, my med school stethoscope. Oh, it, one of the oh those those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An understanding with your spouse. <laughs> yeah. So literally, your wife's or your wife or husband is in on it, which is great because like two of you have like dead spouses. I'm pretty sure. So divorced and dead, I think. So the you're the of ghost of your spouse is in on it. <laughs> we have an understanding. <laughs> <laughs> you're dead. So oh my goodness. The understanding <laughs> is you let me you let me fuck her or I kill you again. <laughs> Just like chilling oh, with the ghost of the hospital. Exactly, <laughs> oh, just hanging out. No. Oh, okay. oh, no. All right, so uh, tags and demographics, you guys have already done that. So choosing yeah. specialties. Specialties are listed in theaters, areas where they are likely to be used, but blah, 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 blah. Um, so uh, specialties are on page 21. There are things like medical diagnosis, emergency care, pediatrics, oncology, GP, uh, surgery, um, gerontology. What's gerontology? Gerontology? Yeah, G E R O N. Um, old people. Is it geriatric? G E R is geriatric. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Old I thought people. that's what it was, but I was like, "There's gonna, there's a trick here. There's some <laughs> Latin bullshit." There's a trick. There's a trick, and I don't trust it. Um, I don't, I don't trust it. 
<laughs> I realized that I've been adjusting my camera this entire time when I could have just been adjusting my frame. Ah. Uh, there uh, we go. Now I'm the right height. Yay. Yay, finally. Ooh, yeah, there we go. All right, we're very professional tonight, guys. Uh, okay, so introduction NPC, connections. Once, so. once everyone right? is done making their choices, all the players should go around and introduce their characters. Once this is done, each player has a list of questions to ask the other players to determine the level of connections between them. Don't be afraid to jump in and speak up, and feel free to discuss any possible answers. Everyone will be connected for better or worse, so every character... Uh, to every other character once you're done. Okay. So, uh, everybody gets to... I believe everybody gets a specialty, right? Two. Yeah, two we get two. Oh, you don't oh, have unless to... Unless you're yeah. me, which is... I don't have to be so on the list. One. Okay, so we're going to start at the top of the list with the interns, because they're the first ones in the book. So, uh, I would like uh, Lila or, uh, or Stephanie to introduce yourselves and describe yourselves according to your demographics. <laughs> Oh, I, okay. I, I sure. I'll, I, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll volunteer um, for Dr. Lila Richards, um, who is a female in the, what is that, 25 to 34 year range, that okay. demographic. She's white. She's divorced. Um, I don't really know what else to say there. I mean, she's got dark do, hair. And um, do you have any specialty moves? Uh, she does. Um, so, so she's got three specialties. Okay. Um, I get a third one because I have the genius tag. Um, I have psychiatry, neurology, and bureaucracy. And um, my moves are harsh lessons and idealistic. Okay. So yeah. what do those do? Idealistic when you... so If you miss while showing compassion, you can take one stress to turn it into a weak hit. Seven to nine result. Okay, what's the other one you have? Harsh lessons? Harsh lessons. When another character bothers to belittle, humiliate, or ridicule you, you may push one on your next roll. Nice. Okay, so let's do your connections right now. After filling out the rest of your playbook, go around and introduce all of the characters, list everyone else's names, as each player introduces their characters, and then go around for connections. On your turn, ask one, two, or all three. Uh, so, go ahead with your questions. Okay, so should we... Do all three. Okay. Should, should we, we introduce less? ourselves I first? We should all yeah. introduce we'll ourselves to find the best fit. Yeah, Just okay. so we know who who each That's not, okay. Yeah. We've been talking off camera too, so we kinda know, but we'll yeah. do that away for your benefit. Alright, uh then let's go let's just go in a big circle then. So Ophelia Jones, tell us about yourself. All right, Ophelia Jones. So she is the arrogant resident. Um her specialties are internal medicine and persuasion. Um, physically, she has kind of like orangey hair with brown eyes. Um, she's in the 25 to 34 ish range. Uh, she is like not married, but has a boyfriend. Um, mm. let me see. I said an arrogant resident who's overconfident in her skills and writes almost a full page of orders on every patient she sees. Mm hmm. And what are your specialties yeah. and moves? Oh, specialties and moves. Uh, white coat. Uh, when you feign competence in the medical theater, your patients always trust you, even on a miss. That's and so good. I know. And taking up golf. When you blow off a responsibility or duty you should normally perform, clear one stress. Tell the MC which character has to pick up your slack, and they mark one stress. Beautiful. That's great. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go back to Stephanie, and we'll finish with the specialist. So, Stephanie. All right. So, I am... Stephanie is the optimistic intern. Um, she is in the 25 to 34 age range. She has red hair, blue eyes, and she is single. Um, and for special moves, oh, I guess I can do specialties. So her specialties are emergency care and handy. And um, for my specialty moves, I've chosen overconfident, so you may always push one when you feign competence, but if you miss, you also suffer the condition, MC's choice, in addition to any other consequences. Perfect. And then I also chose advisor. At the start of each session, choose a theater, medical, social, personal, and one other player you want as an advisor. Tell that character they act as if they have a connection three with you in that theater for the session. At the end of the session, they gain one plus one reputation if, you help, if they helped you succeed in that theater. Nice. So I'm guessing I'll probably either choose Dr. Welling or Dr. Jones as my advisor, because Lila and I are both interns. There's the one what downside. All right, bring yeah. us home, Anthony. 
Hello. Uh, okay, so Antony is the old specialist. Old means that I cross out the first box of my stress track. So oh, no. I'm always more stressed no. than everybody else. Um, once per session, I can call, or once per session, you can call on your years of experience to make any roll a strong hit instead of rolling. That's that's pretty dope, actually. Yeah. Okay. So, um, and what are your spe- what are your moves? Uh, my moves are focused. I don't get a choice in that. That is, as a specialist, you get focused. When making rolls associated with your specialty, you push two instead of push one. Okay. Uh, and then I chose don't play a player. If a character feigns competence in your presence, they push minus two on the roll unless they choose to owe you. Nice. And what are your specialties? They are surgery and bureaucracy. Okay. Uh, and he is in the 45 to 54 age range. He oh, that's not is, old. Well, I, I, he's on the far end. He's in the 50s. Okay. Um, I wanted him to still be on that, like, he could be on ER and still be really hot. Um, but he, <laughs> but he's, uh, he's widowed. <laughs> you know, he's widowered. We figured this out. <laughs> no, it's yeah. widowed. He is a widower, but oh. he is widowed. I wrote widowered. <laughs> <laughs> We tried so hard. <laughs> In the end, it didn't really matter. Uh, uh, it sure didn't. Okay, so um, <laughs> let's go back to Lila. So Lila, um, oh. question one. I have a series of questions. Okay, yes. Um, which one of you seems to have it in for me? Probably me. Okay. <laughs> Probably Ophelia. Okay. So jot so, that down. Um, so that is going Ophelia. to give you uh, right I- connection minus two for Ophelia. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Ophelia. Uh, of which of one of you has been willing to mentor me? Well, probably me then. Yeah. All right. So that's plus three, I think. And then I guess the last one here is which one of you feels pity for me? The well, optimistic for everyone one. Else, well, you can also say for everyone else, right connection equals zero. So you don't know how everything fits together yet. So I guess we don't have to have a connection. But mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. I could pity you. <laughs> oh. yeah. Um, and then oh, at the end, choose one of the characters with the lowest connection on your sheet, which I'm guessing is Ophelia. Hello. Mm. And ask that player, what is my nickname? Oh. Stanky. <laughs> oh gosh. Um. How, well, you want to think about it? Yeah, I'll okay. come up with one by the end of it. Okay. Because everybody's got a nickname. This is like Nam. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, if we want to go, I have the exact same questions because right, we're both so interns. Ask your questions. <laughs> so, which one of you seems to have it in for me? Could be. Is, well, is if it Caitlin you're, again? If, well, I was going to say, if you're pitying I could just be Lila, We could pity each other. Other. Because yeah. <laughs> we're both interns. Okay, both why, interns. Why, why don't it be me? And then I'll have to figure out a okay. name. came for you too. Gosh, dang it. <laughs> um... And then I guess uh, I guess we're having the plus three for Welling because I guess it'll also be my advisor yeah. or, for my. Uh, and then, uh, yeah. Well, I don't know. What, when... So like you have internal medicine, so uh, yeah. Or nah, that's right. Well, it could no. be that what? Ophelia likes you better than me and is actually mentoring you, and Anthony that's Welling true. is actually out to get you. Oh, could be. Yeah. Could be. Out to get you. <laughs> or I could pity you. And Lila could be out to- <laughs> I could be out could to get you. could secretly be out to get me. I do. True. Also we're true. friends, but we're friend- we could be frenemies. We could be frenemies. Keep your Let's friends. Be frenemies. Well, so now, you don't have to closer. ask all of them, right? That's you don't true. Have to know. That's true. That's true. You could have no one. Pi- you could have Ophelia yeah. Yeah, no, you monitoring have to pity the you. <laughs> yeah. Because you only have to ask one of them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. We'll go do that and then let us go Wait, okay am i Wait, mentoring not... you then now yes thus yes okay. you mentor okay. so that's plus so it's three. plus three do we plus get those don't as well give you a nickname uh no oh okay. do we oh okay no no, no. Oh, i don't okay, believe okay, so i believe it's one no way. i know i put that i thought yeah. it was balanced oh gotcha gotcha, gotcha. okay and then is it me? so who is who is the i don't know but who is the one with the least amount I mean, if, if, if are do are you gonna Not do you me. have it in to me, Lila? Do you have it in for me? Well, if we don't have that connection, like if it's just blank, if it's zero, then that's still yeah, the lowest that's connection, true. right? That's so I can true, still give yeah. you a nickname. You still give me a nickname. Oh, I got one. Fishy. Fishy. Hey, oh. fishy. 
Uh, there we go. Perfect. Okay. There you go. All right. So um, then let's go to Caitlin's. Go to your character. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, which? That's a weird one. So that's the maybe resume. not that one. Uh, which one of you looks the healthiest? Is the question. That's a weird question. It's a weird question. Let's move on. Which one of you? <laughs> what the? F <laughs> which one of you has been feeling under the weather? Me. You? Yeah, it's all it's it's always Amy. All right, yeah. gotcha. <laughs> this is the coffee addict who doesn't get enough sleep. All right. Also, so Amy's I... character. Yeah. So for some <laughs> reason, I have it out for you, but also we have connection plus two to you because you seem to be working too hard. I interesting. Guess. That's so an you, interesting. You, you uh... respect her, but you want to see her break. Yeah. <laughs> or <laughs> you, or Lila thinks Ophelia is out to get her. Maybe. But yeah. really, it's because she's yeah, concerned. Yeah, no, because the question is, which one of you seems to have it in for me? Oh, yeah. Gotcha. But yeah, it seems. Oh, that's a Dr. Cox relationship there. Yeah. 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 There we go. Yeah. Ophelia and then why do you concerned. hate me so much? God. I'm just trying to make you a better doctor, this. damn it. <laughs> Okay. And your last question? Um, oh gosh, oh gosh. I had it in my head and then it blanked. Uh, which one of you should I consider a rival? I don't really have... I, I, not not Dr. Welling, I don't think. So... I wouldn't think so. Maybe that's good. Maybe that's... Maybe that's okay. I mean, if you want, like, I'm probably the healthiest because I'm not a coffee addict and I'm not old. So I probably look true. pretty healthy for a 25 for to 34 sure. year old. We have connection minus one because I don't care. You're very healthy. It's fine. That's fine. You got this. Okay. That's fine. That's why you're mentoring me. Very you're funny. Mentoring. <laughs> You've been willing to mentor me, but you know, minus one. However, <laughs> this is minus great. one. Oh. Um, so... Uh, let me see. Everyone else's connection plus one. You know. How oh wait, stand. no, no, no. Actually, with my, if I choose you as my advisor, you act as if we have connection plus three as well. Oh. With my, with my oh, so that just brings you to plus two. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I gotcha. Okay. Oh, you're now we're plus okay. two. So in that case, Anthony, Anthony, sorry, we only have a plus one. So you have to give me a nickname. What's my nickname? So mm. who's a fishiest fisher? Okay. Okay. I'll to think on it. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Uh, and finally, Dr. Welling. Hello. Uh, okay. Which one of you have I worked with in another facility? Uh, I was going to say probably Ophelia. Yeah, yeah. could, okay, could be. Sense. Yeah. Uh, it's plus two. Oh, uh, these are good questions. These are better than the other questions. Yeah, which one of you doesn't seem to be living up to your full potential? Who am I? Ooh. Who am I mentoring? Is I think it that Stephanie? was me. Yes, no, no it is you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's say Lila. <laughs> so yeah. all of us think oh, you're we're really all super awesome. But... <laughs> oh, Lila! <laughs> I just <laughs> pity you. I pity you. Uh, it's a minus one, but that's okay. okay. And oh. finally, which one of you do I secretly admire or envy? <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> well, I mean, you can. I think you can give. Uh, you can give, probably give multiples to the same person. It's true. Oh, probably. I guess so. Or you could secretly envy Doctor. The hot intern. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was a hot redheaded intern. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the carpet matched the drapes, and now it's linoleum tile. <laughs> What? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Okay. It's all artificial. I hate this. <laughs> like my hips. Got it. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, no. <laughs> Anthony Welling does not wear a merkin. No, he does not wear a merkin? Uh, uh, it's not artificial. <laughs> oh, okay. Check the fan um, wiki. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I don't think admire or envy I, well the only person i could think of would be uh potentially if he's relatively recently widowed he probably envies someone who has a relationship but other than that well, that would uh, be ophelia jones be me yeah okay all right uh, so I, th I think i'll just leave that one i don't i think i don't want to envy anybody um put stephanie at zero uh which means lila gives me a nickname oh um, Did anybody not get a chance to give a nickname? 
Robin didn't give, a, give, didn't give anybody a nickname. Yeah. Lila, I have your nickname. Oh, oh, okay, what is it? I think it's Java. Java? Ooh, that's kind of cool. Um, I mean, part of me is just like the, the nickname for, for Dr. Welling would just be Doctor, which is not really a nickname, but... Yeah. Or the professor or something ridiculous like that. I don't know. Could be. Could be. Yeah. I don't know. Does well, I guess Stephanie have any suggestions? Yeah. Holiday. Mm hmm? Like what? the doc. The doc. Bones. Uh, Greybeard. <laughs> um, Gandalf. Yeah. Seriously, these are all these are all yeah. valid options. Yeah, pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And that would also be huh. uh, actually never mind. Are you going with Gandalf? I kinda of think maybe. I do like I really that like suggestion. That. I really it's like it. Gandalf the white. Gandalf. Gandalf. I really, really no. like it. I'm sure. The Gandalf the old. Gandalf the old. Gandalf right, the old. Gandalf the great. Gandalf so, the white, goddammit. <laughs> so what's That's racist. I have white hair. <laughs> you got a lot of white things. <laughs> I'm actually quite red right now. I know, right? Uh, I remember. I just know that's me. Gandalf. Jesus. G A N D A L. -N. No. That's what I thought, but it just looked. Yeah. I wrote it like four times with different spellings. I was like, none of those look. <laughs> that's that's, that, that's uh, Tolkien name. Uh, Ophelia, your nickname is Kiddo because we worked at a different facility when you were an intern. Wonderful. Okay. okay, so uh, let's do some locational stuff and then let's get started. Okay, so where's the hospital? And by the way, like, I'm fine with basically anybody shout anything out. And if it's good and we like it, we'll keep going. Don't be shy. Where's it located? Is it in Canada or America? Canada. Yeah. Cool. Canada. Is it in Canada. Toronto you know or it? Vancouver? Vancouver, since we know it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah could do. Yeah. Okay, so it's in Vancouver. Uh, how big is it? Is it bigger than a bread box? Is it bigger <laughs> than... <laughs> uh -huh. Is I would it say it maybe it's pretty sizable. Maybe like, so yeah. like a full hospital? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, full hospital. Okay. But maybe uh, like a community full hospital. So it's not like quite like the major, major, major center. Mm, but, mm. Yeah, that's fair. What is it well known for? Besides sexual <laughs> antics among the, like, the staff. <laughs> um, what well known for? Um, some particular treatment like, or something. Is the cafeteria just really good for some reason? <laughs> Okay, great food. <laughs> Something medical, just good food. Perfect. Perfect. Like, it has five you want to work here because you, you know. Like, it's just, go. no, and if you it's work open there. for night shift. What the yeah. hell? It has an open for yeah. night shift cafeteria that is actually so fucking good. So right? it's, a whole, it's a holistic treatment center that focuses on providing quality service on all fronts. <laughs> yeah, sure. There, okay. we go. there you go. I'm a hospital director. I know how to make this stuff work. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, what does it currently lack that it normally has? A Staff. hospital director? Yeah. I, oh, no. Too There's real. There's no hospital director. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, I funding? I don't funding? know. It's, is funding a pro funding can be a problem in Canada. I Probably. Or... Yeah. Staff? Funding? Maybe the washing machines are broken or something, and they have to outsource. Yeah, maybe we can go a little, a little darker than that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Caitlin's face there for a second. No, I was just thinking. I'm like, I know how much like linens we go through a day. <laughs> what about like an EKG? Like one of our machines are out. Okay. Um, what, what would be a machine that would go out? The uh, MRI machines. The MRI are machines I? are always breaking down. Yeah, <laughs> as far as actually. Yeah. Cool. Too real. <laughs> Okay, so MRI, so equipment failures. Yeah. Yeah. So good food, old equipment. Old equipment. Old equipment. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, That's the slogan. The funding. That's there it is. The logo. What is always on short supply? Is that the laundry? Yeah. Mm, like scrubs maybe. or like or blank um low on scrubs or something High that's why love. that's why exactly we have to trade scrubs it's not your shift well i'm wearing the scrubs now oh, <laughs> this is why this is why lila's nickname should have been stinky because everybody's wearing the same scrubs <laughs> oh no is that why my name is that's fishy so oh no <laughs> good night everybody okay um what is a black mark on this hospital's reputation Ooh. Um, uh, 
had a bad previous PR, director maybe? was money laundering i don't know Ooh, that could be Ooh. interesting okay and that's the lack of a hospital director i don't know or we have a new one who's new to the job and people are yeah. trying to like he's a young he's a young buck that is you know we're trying to see what we can what well, we can get his... by okay so what? previous director money laundering okay uh personal who do you hope does not come through the doors tonight my boyfriend. <laughs> okay, and what's his name? Hair? Oh God, what was his name? Is his name? Did you, did you work this out? Because I have a generator up right now. Ah, uh, you could generate it. I did have something. Okay, cool. Uh, I said Jonathan Beck. John Beck. Yep. No, Jonathan. Specifically, Jonathan. Does he go by Nath or Nathan for short? Just Jonathan. Or Absolutely not. <laughs> what commitment are you avoiding by volunteering for this shift? Do we all have to do these individually, nope. or? Uh, this is a call oh, out. So. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> oh so then you I'm, just wrote I'll a part of your this. plot. Congrats. <laughs> um, he's he's diving into work because he still hasn't dealt with. Emotions. So what's 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 the commitment about that? Is there oh, a, the commitment? Is there, a, is there like a widower's support group? Grief therapy. His yeah, his it's son is group. trying to get him to go to grief therapy. Okay. Uh, I can't do it. I have a night shift. Sorry, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I won't be awake can't yet. Can't make it. Oh, yeah, working, yeah. working, night working shift a double. Tonight. Sorry. Yep. Yep. Okay, avoiding sun to grief group. Okay, uh, who are you sorry to see in the break room? Does it have to be one <gasps> of us? I said divorced, right? Yeah. <gasps> my ex, my ex partner. My okay. ex. I don't want to see are them. Are they a lab tech? Maybe. Okay. Uh, yeah. Would, uh, what type of what name do we have here? Um, Are, um who, who is this person describe them for me oh because i've got ooh. i've got male and female names here and yeah we can hit them I with a hammer thought that far through yeah okay, okay so right now um, i have dr clarence boris dr isaac isaiah lotto dr jameson markwood dr jace pole dr mateo valle and if we go to female i have dr yeah. autumn cardno dr bryce cruz dr geraldine ling uh, Jeanette Milstead, also a doctor. Uh, oh, important question. Did hmm. you keep the last name? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, mm. made them change it. This is mine well, well, now. I mean, after, after the took divorce. Took it in the divorce. Yeah, they took it. <laughs> How about there's a character named, like, uh, everyone with, like, a lab tech. They don't go with, they don't, wouldn't be doctor, would they? No. Uh, no. Lab, lab techs usually um, would not, no. Okay, so it's a lab tech, and it's... Ooh. Um. I liked Bryce. Oh, let's go. I was gonna go with with like Darlene or like or like Darlene what? Yeah, Richards. Richards. Yeah. Okay. They took my name. Ooh, it has that. And they didn't it. give it back. <gasps> I think they're in the middle of doing it and they're trying uh, to, but the paperwork oh, takes a while. That's true. true. And you're it's the one recent. that was good at bureaucracy. Recent, I yeah. am. Oh, okay, and the last one for personal is whose name are you glad to see on the active duty roster? I'm glad to see. Oh, because you're single and optimistic. Yeah. Oh. So is it Russell Tour? Is it is it Hannah Ragonese? Is it Chester Andel? Dominic. Chester. Decane, Dominic oh, Decane, wow. Dan oh, Dominic Decane. Yep. yep. Okay. She's looking for that double name. D. Oh. He's, it's the Decane. Oh no. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm sorry. Dominic Decane. Uh, what does he look like? Give me, a, give me a, like a one actor description. Oh, it, actor. Um, um, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Um, just um, like um. is he Idris Elba? Is he like, um, is he like uh, the? I'm uh, trying to. I I have the name. Is it Chris I'm Evans? trying to remember. No, I'm imagining like dark hair, like kind of rushed, like Antonio Eastern Banderas? European. Yes, yes, yeah. Antonio Banderas. Does he have a swarthy accent? Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great, guys. It's gonna be so good. Okay. Situation. What time of uh, what time of evening or night is it? Uh, because yeah. this is for the night shift. Quick, quick, right? When does the night them? shift start, Caitlin? Like 11, um, right? it depends on the doctor. Um, hospitalists they start at, like they start being on call at five o'clock. Um, so midway into shift, like roll, yeah, roll a d six, yeah, somebody. 
five o'clock plus. I got plus, a five. I got a five. Then it's ten o'clock. Perfect. That seems good. That's go. a good time of night. That's literally what we just decided before we, we rolled the dice. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Uh, and what is the phase of the moon? Oh. Let's full moon. We gotta go full moon. <laughs> yeah, Let's it's, it's go. Wait. It's our, next, the Friday is the Friday the thirteenth. That it's up, the hospital so it's... that you guys ransacked in Werewolf. Oh yeah. no! Oh no! <laughs> This all of a sudden becomes a supernatural show. <laughs> yeah. All right, let me grab Monster of the Week. Well, I mean, Jensen Ackles could be here. It's Vancouver. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the main complaint about the weather right now? Is it too hot? It's too lean hot. Into what time it? Of year is it? Yeah. Yeah. It could be too hot. Yeah. It's, we could lean hot. into this. I already wrote it down with pen. What yeah. just happened that got everyone's attention? Big car uh, pile up. Yeah, I was gonna say car way, car accident coming in. Mm. Had a lot of people come in. How many people? Yep. Seven. All right. Is, is that so, a lot? <laughs> my brain was like T twenty. Seven. It is. It is tea? more than like, seventeen. Is more Se than like seven two. severe. Seven severe okay. people came. Is that in? Seven, yeah. it's it's a seven community. I was community just saying hospital. it's oh, yeah. a seven oh, yeah. car pile up. So. Oh, okay. oh and so finally, uh, what's the name of the hospital? Ooh. Heart's Mercy. <laughs> I the didn't first even... call. <laughs> Hello. Oh, no. Oh, we're coming in. Uh, Heart's Mercy? What that's, did I send? I sent pretty ridiculous. Like Heartland Medical Center or something like that. Well, what do we want? I don't care one way or the other. I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> HMC for for short, Heartland Medical yeah. Center, HMC. Yeah. You know me, we got the HMC. <laughs> I am not down with the the team, like the bowling team. <laughs> the night night shift bowling team. <laughs> what, the pinheads? What's wrong with the pinheads? Oh no. If Dominic is on the team, then Stephanie is, but other than that. <laughs> you, are on, you are officially on the, <laughs> the bowling, bowling team. team. <laughs> okay, sweet. Okay. And all right. I want right. him to knock my pins down if you know what I mean. Hi oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so okay. sorry. All You're right. not. I'm not. Okay. And you, you shouldn't be. Okay, folks, you ready to play this ridiculous game? Oh, yes. I don't know. Okay, because I need to ask everybody a question. Where are you right now? The credits stop rolling, and that's a little too epic. One sec. <laughs> <laughs> the doors to the ER burst open and you hear, I've got a seven car pile up here. Everybody's coming in. I need, you know, I need, they start asking for, I need crash. I need, I need response. I need, uh, I need medical. Where is everybody? I mean, they're break not room. Break I'm room? right there in the action. Yeah. She heard the seven car pile up and she's in ready in to receive the trauma. <laughs> okay. You're ready to receive the trauma. All right. Um, so coffee break. Coffee break? Okay, so you're in the break room as well. Yeah. Okay. And where are you, Caitlin? Uh, Dr. Jones could also be in the ER looking at the um, telemetry patients. Sounds in perfect. So they are going to get pulled in. So it's going to be Dr. Fisher and Dr. Jones are going to be inside of uh, emergency where you are going to see uh, a teenage boy uh, wheeled in. Uh, looks like they were street racing in downtown Vancouver. And um, what's wrong with them? Does anybody want to do a check to find out and see what happens as he's rolled in? Yes. Yeah. Terrence Ning, age 22. Yeah. Uh, he's, and you'll check the thing. I said teenage, but apparently he's 22 because it came out of my mouth. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let's do this for he the looks first. Teenage. He looks young. He looks young. It's because he had surgery. Uh. Mm. Uh, okay, so what would you like to do? He's rolled in. Um, I would like to assess the situation. Assess okay. him. How do you do that? Um, just look at him and see what's act, act going professionally. On. Oh, act, oh, is oh, let me. Or see. do you display um, expertise? No. Like, let's display expertise. Cool. Yeah. So, Sorry, like... um, what I want you to do is, uh, so this will be diagnosis and and that. So, what? Uh, give me a uh, a plus brains roll. Oh, okay. Unless you want to feign competence. Oh, no, I got an 11, um, okay. which I think is just an 11. 
All right, so looking at this, uh, that's yep. a strong hit. You can add, so uh, you've got this. I will tell you an interesting fact about the current situation. Uh, it looks like he had been drift racing in downtown Vancouver, uh, struck a um, uh, struck an electrical pole, uh, which electrified his car, which due to some modifications he made to it, meant that his heart stopped on the scene. And he is in a very strange AFib right now. His heart is beating out a strange rhythm that uh, is definitely going to kill him if you do... He's a what? Guys, I'm listening. I'm listening. (laughs) You you were about to ask a real medical question to me, weren't you? No. It's playing playing La Cucaracha, okay? (laughs) (laughs) For those of you that don't know, Caitlin actually is a medical professional. (laughs) And I am a writer who Googles shit when I... we're gonna I'm break Caitlyn tonight. I literally spent today googling <laughs> things like, like, what do you call it when you can't see out a window at night? Because <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> Could you right oh now? My God. Right now. No. What Actually, is it called when you can't see out a window? Oh hi, dog. Oh yeah. dog. There's in a dog, the dog in the ER. <laughs> ER. It's Doctor Dog. <laughs> One of those, oh, he's one of those cancer selling dogs. Oh my God. Yeah, he's a therapy dog. He's there a therapy dog. He's doing okay. Professional uh, canine. Can Why? I act uh, professionally so, to help? Uh, no, because you have, you have a different patient. You have a different patient. You could ask me two follow one or two follow up questions. What do you like? Would you like okay. to know? Um, what can I do to help him right now? Uh, just, just like make stop him from dying. You could get his heart working normally. Uh, there right. are, so what do you think? Do you think that that would require just like some shock treatment? Do you think that it would require actual surgery? And, uh, or maybe there's something wrong with the heart that needs to be like massaged back into order. <laughs> How extreme do you want this to be? I think it depends on what's going on with the heart, but sure. Let's start some chest compressions if he's does if he's pulseless. <laughs> okay. All right, so that sounds good. Oh great, so you will you will start um, you will start doing chest compressions and uh, bossing around some of the nurses to help you and uh, some of the medical techs on yeah. hand to uh, I want you to get an IV started, I want you to bring drop some epine- epinephrine, I want you to bring out the defibrillator. <laughs> that Everyone take great. notes, we're gonna wanna repeat this later. Yeah, everybody right? just take right? notes. Google things the doctors do sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna lie, I have medical terms. Uh, Google on the webpage. I'm ready to go. This was me in Star Trek going, I don't know, put power to the deflector oh, dish. My gosh. Right? Yeah, I don't know those. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> on the other side of one of the curtains, um, you will hear we've got we've got a pregnant woman uh, with triplets, doctor. And uh, this <gasps> is rolled right up to you, Doctor Stephanie Fisher. Oh, okay. Fishy, what do we do? Says your says your nurse. Um, 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 I'm gonna feign competence. <laughs> I would love you to feign competence. Oh, okay. okay. So and when I you roll plus. Can't wait to nerve. call you out. Fain competence. So, uh, break room. No, I'm not. <laughs> so you are going to roll nerve. Yep. Oh no! What'd you get? <laughs> I rolled a three and I got plus one, so that's a four. Okay, so you're going to gain oh, a uh, no. you're going to gain a perk because <laughs> you you failed this. Oh no! Oh, so no. enjoy that. Okay, so three. The MC will tell you what happens. Uh, okay, so. Uh, my moves. Okay, what can I do? Change theaters, <laughs> reveal immediate dire complications, reveal trouble in the wings, tarnish their reputation, inflict stress. I'm going to inflict a point of stress on you. Now, when I inflict stress, you can choose to take a condition instead of a point of stress, which is okay. basically hit point damage. Oh. But, so, do you guys going to take the stress, or do you want me to offer you I'll a... Take a st- I will take a stress. Okay, take a point of stress, so that'll tick off on your cool. on your sheet. You have three levels of stress on your basic, two on your yep. medium, and one on your high. All right, uh, so as you are doing that, you're going to feign competence. You're like, ah, uh, uh, how do you feign competence? How do you fuck this up? Uh, um, um, uh, she's pregnant. Um, so can I get some, um, um, I need some, uh, I need some mor- morphine over here. Morphine over here. Some drug that's not good for pregnant people. Morphine? Are you, are you sure? Uh, 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 yeah, 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 she needs it to calm down. Let's go, let's, let's, let's get uh, her sedated. Oh, oh, okay. 
and they are going to start scrambling around for that. Uh, and I'm going to use my move to move to a... Uh, I'm going to move to the break room. Uh-oh. What, and, do I, uh, so I, do I choose my perk or? Uh, no, you just get a, pardon me, it's not a perk, it's a it's, oh. benefit, is that what it is? They change the wording in uh, every- You it's, you get perks to then gain a benefit when you get four perks or something. Oh, that's right. So a perk is a, it's basically just like a, perks a are, point. Okay, yeah, it's, like it's a, point a beat. Uh, it's a beat and you can spend them, yeah. Yeah, sweet. And you can spend, use them to gain favor from an NPC. Uh, okay, so uh, what I am going to do is we are going to switch over to the break room. And you are going to hear, attention, attention, paging Dr. Welling, paging Dr. Welling to ER. Mm, mm-hmm. Guess it's time to go. You coming, Richards? Yeah. You're, you're coming, Richards. Come on. Yeah. And I'll head I'm to the okay. ER. I'm coffee. I'm coming. I hate that stupid name. Says your ex who's plugging coins into a vending machine behind you. <clears throat> you liked it mind. once! I liked a lot of things once, she says. <sighs> well, this is going to leave. <laughs> okay. Get out of here faster. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> Walking down the hall, you are going to have uh, you're going to have a run in with uh, with Doctor. Uh, we're gonna you're gonna have a run in with a friendly doctor, friend of yours, Krista, who is a an oncologist named Killian Radzovich. Amazing, oncology's cancer, right? Yeah. Okay. And his he's literally the rad doctor. <laughs> It's, oh no! So, Sorry, what what was what was the Dr. last name? Dr. Killian Radzovich. Killian, I keep reading right from my pen because it's in my pocket. Yep, right. Killian Radzovich, amazing. Radz. So he, he will, hey, what's up, gray man? How are you doing yeah. today? Uh, being called to the ER, so not the greatest at the moment. Later, we talk about golf. Uh, yes, absolutely. Ah. While playing golf, preferably. Where else would we do? He says as you leave and push through the <laughs> ER. And uh, with that cackling laugh, you will make it in to see that um, you are going to rip out the curtain and wander in to the room with Dr. Fisher as she is about to plunge a number of cc's of morphine into a uh, vigorously pregnant woman. Whoa there. And I'll like grab her hand. This is not what morphine and what is wrong with you, Fisher? Oh my god, I, 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 uh, it, it doesn't matter, doctor, it doesn't matter. Get out of do, here. Doctor? Yeah? She's dilated. Shit. Get Wait. the word for She's... pregnancy doctors. Get a gynecologist down here right now. <laughs> That's the wrong one. What's the right it's the one? the wrong one. <laughs> it's an obstetrician. Obstetrician, thank you. Get an obstetrician in here now. Um... I'm gonna spend one of my moves, and one of the nurses is going to say, "Dr. Wing is here," but and she'll gesture to one of the uh, to one of the ER carts where there is Dr. Wing is sitting there in a neck brace, going. Eah. It looks like it's up to you, Doctor. Damn it! <laughs> Not again. Every <laughs> <laughs> full moon, I swear. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, what would you like to do in this case? So, Dr. Fisher, yeah. if you are nearby, you can try to assist whatever Dr. Welling does. Yep. Uh, so, the way the way that would work is, Dr. Welling, what would you like to do? I'm going to act professionally. Act professionally? Okay. So, that will, in a difficult or dangerous situation. Although, so, well, display expertise is a better role for me. What... I guess this is kind of a stressful situation. Is that yeah? I'm gonna say this is outside. This is outside of your realm. So yeah, unless you're unless you decide to do the C-section, then it's inside of your realm. True. True. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna act professionally, and then so Fisher would stick your hand in. Uh, yes, that is the roll name. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and in this case, it's very accurate. It's like, very okay. accurate. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so what's going to happen is, I believe that we roll, we roll yours first, yeah. Welling. Uh, uh, no, because I, or no, yeah, because I got to push. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. From stick your hand in, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. Yeah, I guess yeah. it doesn't really matter. Either way, it affects. So, uh, both of you roll, uh, you roll guts, and you roll plus connection. Which we have... Uh, let me scroll up. We have guts. We have plus one, because you pity me. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> well, maybe more. Maybe more. Um, so I got a... I got a... I got an eight. You got an eight. Okay, so what that means is you push one on their roll and your influence is noted for good or bad. That's awesome, because um, that brings me to 10. Okay, so uh, you maintain your composure in a difficult situation and start delivering babies. Uh, you are going to reduce any stre stress inflicted by the situation by one and show no weakness. Nice. Now, how do I inflict stress? That was one thing I read it earlier and then it fell out of my brain. It when you fail. So. Is it only when you fail? Mm. I think so. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm stressed now. <laughs> I think so. Unless stressed. otherwise stated, like one of my one of my skills kind of gives someone yeah. else stress. But it says inflicted by the situation. So whenever you feel like it. Oh, I nice. Would say. Well, that's pretty great. Uh, situation. Your job as an MC to introduce situation a scene that compels you to take action. Yeah, that's that's fine. That's what I'm doing. It's a very small book. <laughs> uh, okay, well, that sounds fantastic. Uh, okay, so you are going to deliver that, deliver the babies uh, with the assistance of the uh, the Dr. Fisher there. And uh, meanwhile, uh, Dr. Lila Richards uh, is going to uh, enter uh, the area where Ophelia Jones, Dr. Ophelia Jones, is doing chest compressions. And I would like you to... Actually, I'm probably. So you're probably what? I'm probably delegating. Oh, you're probably delegating. Okay, so what are what are you doing at that point? Are you asserting authority? I am asserting authority. Then give me assert authority. Absolutely. Let's let's do it. Okay. So how do you do this? You're bossing people around, so roll your reputation. Yep. Okay. Uh, nine. Nine. Okay. Yep. So they'll attempt to do whatever you want after you agree to help them now or later, or take one stress. I'll take one stress. Okay, so take a stress. Or you can take yep. a condition instead of stress. Mm, I'll take a stress for now. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so uh, as you are, how, how are you doing this? Tell me tell me what the scene looks like as we pan back into your room. Because I'm picturing a guy is just running back and forth between these sets with like a steady cam. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> like there's no cuts. Yeah. Um, just continue where I left off. All right, now give him, give him some epinephrine. Okay. Okay. Uh, Rhythm uh, check. Yes, doctor. Yes, doctor. <laughs> Can uh, I attempt to stick my hand in to assist Ophelia? Yes, you may. Yes, you may. Okay. So this is, okay, I rolled plus connection, which okay. for me is... Minus two? Probably. Eight? eight? I think up. so. Yeah, minus two. You're scared of me. Okay. I say do yeah. it. Okay. Um... So if I roll a total of eight, then it would be a six. Yep. With the minus two. Yep. So for six, um, I tell you what oh, happens. I miss. You do. Okay, so you're going to gain a perk for that. Okay. And uh, I am going to check my moves again. <laughs> oh man, this is so fun. Um, okay. So, here is the deal. Here is the deal, Lila. How do you stick your fa how do you stick your hand in on this one? Probably trying to assist with like the ch either chest compressions or defib. Okay. Defibrillator. What happened? So if so, do you just take so do you just take control and move it from chest compressions to like actually using a defib? So do you just escalate it? Is that what happens that goes wrong? <laughs> I think maybe. She's like, oh shit. All right. So do you just butt in and say, move out of the way. This person needs de need needs to be shocked. Oh my gosh. Um, I think more along the lines of it's not working. You got to try some like, Okay. yeah. I'm going to give you two options here. So as you do this, <laughs> one of two things is going to happen. Either you're right to do this, but you're too hasty and don't call clear. And someone is touching them. I like and that one. You're right, 
or you're wrong and something worse happens. I like the one that, is, that I'm, I like that I'm right, but I fuck it up somehow. I, I was like thinking maybe something isn't connected properly or the machine gets like dropped or okay. so, something. So what happens to you, what happens to you then? Is it, do you shock someone <laughs> else or do you shock yourself? I think someone else. Okay. Uh, Caitlin, do you want that to be Dr. Ophelia or do you want that to be one of the nurses or something? Probably one of the nurses. If I'm delegating, I'm kind of like pointing Unless you try to grab and be like, what are you doing? And oh yeah, I could do, could, yeah, could, that could be, yeah, that could be, yeah. Okay, do you want to do that? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so <laughs> you are going to get blasted with a large number of jewels, um, yep. just like you're in like a rapper music video. <laughs> you're gonna run the jewels. Uh, and you're gonna take a, that's gonna be two points of stress. Okay. Oh my God, Dr. Jones. All right, there's Zorb. And the camera is going to zolt out as we uh, pan out, uh, pull back as Dr. Jones is launched across the room, which is not what that electricity would do, but it's fun this way. It's just zolted out. No. And oh we will pan back across into the other into the other medical area in here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And uh, so just they handing them off to nurses. Handing them off and and uh, I want you to do me a favor, my friend. I want mm. you to do me a big favor, and that is you are going to uh, you are going to pick up. You're going to pick up the last baby, and it's it's a girl. It's a girl. It's a boy. And as you pick it up, you are going to just have this flashback, <laughs> remembering. <laughs> when you picked up your son for the first time and how he's been trying to get you to go to grief counseling about your departed wife who died last season. It was the season finale, the, the mid-season finale. Yeah, the, the final season finale was like a Ferris wheel broke loose and it was a, <laughs> the peony exploded. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so that is what you are going to uh, be doing. And uh, Dr. Stephanie, you're going to notice that he is having a moment. Um, could I? Um... You can do whatever you want. It's powered by the apocalypse. It's true. It's true. Do you want um, to show compassion? I would love to show compassion, actually. Okay. So that is plus heart. Heart. Fire. Heart. Wind. Water. Violence! Our powers, your powers combined. Violence. I am Captain Planet. The power is probably belonging to some major corporations. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Um. So I got do 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 do. I got a seven. Okay. Oh, uh, do you? What's your? Oh, yeah. So you don't add your connection to this, but. Ask up to two questions from the list below. They may ask one of you as well. What's really troubling them? How can they help? Or how can you help? Uh, is Where is your character vulnerable? Or And what would you like your character... What would your character like me to do? Okay, so I'm going to ask that. So I basically, I'm asking that to So you can ask up Krista. to two questions, and then Krista yeah. may ask you one of them. Okay. Oh. Um, <laughs> so how can I help your character? Uh... Uh, yeah, uh, take take this. He's got to get dealt with. Um, and doctor, what would you like me to do? Uh, just make sure they're all taken care of. I'll take care of mom. Okay. You got a doctor. All right, and uh, Anthony Welling, what would you like to? So you connect with each other on this. So maybe there maybe there's a moment as um as Fishy is saying that, where she kind of like puts a hand on, on uh, Gandalf's shoulder. It's so bad. And then we do, we, do a, we do a pan and it's, what can I do to help? You can take this. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, take, take him. Okay. He looks good. All right, what would you uh, like to, to ask uh, Dr. Fisher? One of these questions? Yeah. Uh, Unless you wish to show power. contempt, no, you can't. You're too, you're too no. compassionate. I, hey, I put minus one in heart. Oh. Um, 
Oh, I so don't good. know. Uh, it's... I, I guess I guess I will ask, um, how can I help by verbalizing it as, you know what you're doing? Um, I believe so. I should probably get these up to um, the maternity ward. You got it. Okay. Thanks so... for helping with the call earlier. My brain, I don't know where it went. That was a very, well, very rookie move. Deal with these ones and then go get a cup of coffee. Yes, doctor. All right. And with that, we are going to swap out. <laughs> Ophelia, you start coming to. Uh, you are in one of the... Um, uh, not in a recovery room, we're going to say, because you don't have bed sheets for them. Uh, but oh, you no. <laughs> you are in, uh, what's the staff sleep room? Just the on-call room, maybe? Yeah, you're on you're in the on-call room right now. Uh, with a, uh, a cold oh. compress on your forehead. You got knocked clean out. Uh, now, who is with you? Did Dr. Lila, oh. t- is Dr. Lila yeah, there? Yeah, Lila's here, drinking her coffee quietly. Java, we have protocols and algorithms for a reason. <coughs> I'm sorry. I I got caught up. It was a I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Caitlin? Yes. Uh you're arrogant, so I would also yeah. like to remind you that if you want right now that there's a moment of downtime, you can tear a strip out of her to remove stress. I was gonna do that if I felt more physically able. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to see what you have to do for this to blow off some stress. Blow off stress. Honestly, you like coughing in between yelling might have even more of an effect. <laughs> That's true. Or you could sleep together. That's another rule. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. You I think? know. I'm looking at that. I think we're not quite there stress. yet. No, not there yet. I don't no. know. You just had a shocking revelation. Who am I? But uh, you, you don't have to. I'm just saying that you can if you want to get rid of some of that stress. Yeah. So reminder. Okay, probably. Well, I had I had a line. I had a line. Okay. It's not a very good line. It's not a very big line, but. What did you think you were doing back there? <coughs> You could have killed both of us. You have to shape up or ship out. I would like you to... How many stress are you trying to get rid of with this? Two. Okay, so I need you to roll... uh, Roll plus two stress. Okay. I'm wagering it, aren't I? You want low. Yeah, you're wagering. Uh, seven. Seven? You catch a break, but there are some complications. Reduce your stress by one. Okay. So your okay. stress goes down by one. I just found the chart of how I inflict stress, by the way. So you guys got oh, it easy. Nice. Ah, gotcha. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna. So I'm not. You got knocked out, so I gave you stress. So being mocked by your peers, receiving bad news, poor night's sleep, being confronted by a patient or subordinate, being confronted by a peer, uh, being dressed down by a superior, giving or receiving bad news, no night's sleep, being confronted. Uh, I'm gonna say oh, this right is now. going to inflict a. I'm gonna say this is gonna inflict two points of stress on Dr. Lila. All right. Um, I also have harsh lessons. When a character bothers to belittle, humiliate, or ridicule you, I can push one on my next roll. Perfect. Do it. And do you um, want to take the stress, or do you want conditions? I was gonna take the stress. Okay. So that means that you are. Uh, there are no mechanical problems for low-level stress, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think so. Yeah, it's only conditions that give you stress or they give oh. you uh, problems. I'm gonna put some tabs in this book. All right, so she tears a strip out of you, and uh, as she does that, uh, you are going to hear a sound uh, from the other side of the door, and that happens to be your mentor walking in on this yelling. There are complications that will arise as Dr. Welling approaches and hears this whole debacle. These guys like yelling at each other. Yeah, they're so like yeah. no. Well, Ophelia so it's like, what do you think was happening? Oh, I'm something? yelling. Was, like uh, you know, I made the right call. If you hadn't grabbed it, it would have been fine. Ladies, we're acting like children now, are we? Stand I was the team lead. I was telling everyone not to do. 
I was the one who was supposed to be telling who did, who could hold that defibrillator, and you didn't say clear. We do that for a reason. What do you have to say for yourself, Richards? <coughs> you could have killed your peer. You have nothing to say? How about you go do some rounds, huh? Yeah. Yes, doctor. Jones, you all right? Yeah, I'll survive. How's the patient? He'll make it. You (coughs) did all the right things, though. Well done. Thank you, doctor. Give her a pat on the shoulder and (laughs) make my way back out. Now, I have to ask real quick. How silly do we want the actual storylines to be? (laughs) Oh, extremely. Oh, okay. pretty silly. All right, so yeah, we're not going yeah, serious yeah. with this? I was trying oh. really hard not to smile during that interaction because the music was really intense. <laughs> yeah, and I was music. like, oh, shit. This oh, is, shit. I, I love this humble bundle I just backed for all this new music. It's so good. This is called oh. The New Day. Oh. oh, my gosh. Okay, so as you are walking down, the camera is going to pan, and Dr. Fisher, now that you are out of that scene, you have been paged to, uh, to assist in a procedure. You're very handy, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I'll give you option A or option B. All right, I just got to choose a letter. You got to choose a letter. Fuck. Would you rather have an idea? Okay, would you rather, when I when I suggest a light bulb moment or a foam, we are number one finger, which would you prefer? <laughs> Foam finger, obviously. All right, so you are going to be in a room with Dr. Kapoor. Uh, Dr. Kapoor is a a very, very talented doctor. Uh, He is a general practitioner and also has um, a significant background in proctology. And uh, he calls you and is, ah, good, Dr. Fisher, good to see you. And uh, as he approaches you, he is seven feet tall and has fingers like, like, uh, I'm thinking just like like a bunch of bananas, right? Right, like just like these Why huge. Do you do this? And he will, good. I heard that you are very handy. I have a patient here, and I am ill-equipped for uh, my current job. I was hoping that you could give me a hand. Well, I was hoping you could give him a hand. And he gestures to this, like, you know, middle-aged guy with a mustache who's just kind of bent over a table presenting. This is a teachable moment for an intern. Of course, doctor. Good. I, I'm i happy to assist. Okay. Well, let's do this then. <laughs> All right. Would you like to display expertise? Would you like to act professionally? Would you like to stick your hand in? Would you like to feign confidence? So you're gonna you're gonna be doing a prostate check. I know. I know what fruit is. I know. Okay. Um, I would like to. You can't stick your hand in because you actually have to do this. So you actually to stick your if you stick your hand in you can't stick your hand in if you get me. Yeah, uh, I'm going to. I'm gonna act professionally. That's probably the best uh, way to do this. She she respects Doctor Kapoor a lot, so she wants to look good. Doctor Kapoor is just, just Kareem Abdul Jabbar. <laughs> In my head, like this is so good. So she would like to. Uh, she's gonna pull the gloves, do the nice God. little snap, snap. And what does being having your specialty here does that give you a bonus? I think it gives you plus one, doesn't it? Um. Yeah, you push one if it's your specialty. Yep. So you'll have okay, a plus one cool. on the roll. Sweet. Is it? Oh, baby, that's gonna be... Do I have anything in guts? No, I got zero in guts. Um, that's still gonna be it. an 11. You said act professionally, right? Yes. Ooh, actually... This should be display expertise, probably. Okay, that's... Because if you're looking uh, at what it does. So it's surgery, diagnosis, giving a lecture, 
Um, so this is about your brains, sci- eh? Brains, yeah, brains so eh? How bad is this? It's, it's, it's fine. It's still nine, nine minus one. So it's so a, that's going to be a ten. Yeah, that's a strong hit. So that is that is perfect. Uh, you get to ask me one or two follow-up questions, but you've got this. Um, so an interesting fact about the current situation: you are going to uh, you are going to get the job done, and as you do. Uh, you are going to find a problem. What is the problem? Um, it's about the size of a grapefruit. Oh! Would you like to ask one or two follow-up questions to that? I mean... Ah... Gonna, okay, this this is it. bad. I can give you that for free. It's normally the size yeah, of a walnut. Yeah, yeah, I know it's bad. Um, <laughs> a walnut and a grapefruit next to each other are sizably <laughs> I know, different. I know it's bad. I'm trying to figure out what question to ask because I know that it's bad. Um, what would be the next protocol? So the next obviously protocol... obviously she's going to keep her cool. Uh, okay, keep your cool. So the next protocol would be, um, for one, to uh, send this immediately for further testing. Mm-hmm. Uh, to see like what the hell is going on here, um, mm-hmm. and uh, one of them is to keep your cool, and the other is to do a quick check of uh, of medical files, basically to do just to see if there's anything that could be a potential cause of this, if um, besides besides the obvious enlarged growth, probably from a tumor. Yeah. Um, so if you check over his medical files quickly. Um, mm-hmm. You were going to see he's he just kind of like starts robing him his gown back up, um, and you tsk, trash um, and uh, start flipping through his charts, digital charts on your on your tricorder, uh, and uh, beautiful. Uh, you are going to take a look at him in the distance, and you're going to know something that um, how often do your charts have pictures of you in them? I guess not very often. Never, right? They kind of, they feel like they should. No, so they wouldn't have pictures of them unless they're like from a residential placement. And then they might have their residential files, which have their picture. But generally they would only have pictures if it's like some sort of wound that's getting better or something like that. Okay, so as, so you're looking, you're looking to try to figure out what is going on. This, this and man just is, the wound itself. this man basically looks kind of like Mr. Like Steven Universe's dad. Okay. So like kind of fairly overweight, about 40s, maybe pushing 50, incredibly long silky hair. And as he goes to put to like reach for his jacket, um there is a clatter on the floor and you'll his wallet will fall to the ground. Uh, and as it does, it'll splay open and you will see a a couple's photo with him and his partner. And he has very severe male pattern baldness in that younger picture. Oh. Using that knowledge, I will say that you might have an idea. You know what? I think you rolled enough to actually figure this out. Uh, that he probably is on some type of testosterone blocker that has a, a chance of raising prostate cancer risks. Ha! One of the medical things I know. <laughs> <laughs> also, blood is better in the body than out of the body. Usually. Even if your bleeding's all internal. (laughs) Well, at least you know where it is. (laughs) It's not going anywhere. It's just inside. It's just there. That's where it's supposed to be. Yeah. All right. So he looks over and... Uh... Is everything all right? Um... We're gonna, gonna need some more tests. Um, we just had a... Uh, a small... Nothing to worry about yet, but we, uh, I just have a... Everything is probably fine, yes. Um, do you happen to take any, um, testosterone blockers? Uh, I take... I don't, uh, is, I don't see it on your file here. Um, is that a recent... Uh, yeah, I, um... (sighs) About four years ago... What the hell is this guy's accent? Hold on, let me stabilize this. About four years ago, I was doing trucking through the U.S. and I saw an ad for manlymanmen.com. 
they do herbal supplements that are uh, uh, help you do things like regrow your hair and put vim back in your vigor stick. Ah, well, uh, it's herbal, so it can't be bad, right? Uh, well, unfortunately, if you, I would, I, I would have recommended going to see your doctor about that because they could prescribe some actual uh, medication that's been tested by the. Uh, well, I'm on the road so F much, I can't afford the copay down in them states. That's true. Um, but we're just gonna send some Texans because there's a slight abnormality that I saw. Nothing to worry about yet, but we're just gonna need some further testings um, before we send you out of here. So if you're gonna, uh, I will need you to follow the nurse here and she will lead you back to the uh, waiting room and we're gonna, we're gonna take care of you. It's gonna be okay. Hi, I'm the nurse. Come with me. And the nurse will take him off and what do you think? I mean, the signs are all there. Uh, and I was the size of a grapefruit. Perhaps maybe it is a benign mass. Hopefully, but... It is a big benign mass. It's a in, very big benign mass, and it's... In the man's ass. Like, oh, why? It... <laughs> this well, is not I'm glad funny. you can laugh about something, Dr. Kapoor. Um, I'm sorry. I left. The... I, 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 I will admit, I had to hold my laughter in when he said Vim on his vigor stick. That was <laughs> quite funny. There's nothing funny about the man's bigger stick. <laughs> no, Dr. Kapoor. Um, but I would like to get some further tests done, uh, especially I saw his photo when it came out of his wallet. He was balding, so, and if he did take supplements, it might that be That was very issue. clever. Good. He pats you on the shoulder. You're going to be a good doctor. Thank you. <laughs> well, you are a good doctor. Sorry. But, uh... Thank you. Don't worry. You'll make it out of here. Hope so. This is my first year of intern, and it's kind of crazy. <laughs> it could be worse. You could be addicted to coffee. That's true. Meanwhile, in the break room, you have, uh, you've left Java. Java has, uh, has, uh, <laughs> So I'm reading the quotes from tonight's game. Uh, <laughs> you have walked into the break room and are indulging in your addiction. Yep. All right. So drinking a cup of coffee. Uh, what number of coffee is this? This is coffee. Well, how big of a coffee are we talking? Like in terms of cups of coffee, six, this six, is like 16 ounce. 16 ounce. This is um, the fourth for the shift that started three okay, hours so ago. Indulging in your addiction. Let's see how this works. You're going to have to pee so bad all shift. <laughs> That's where things. you go. That's where you are all the time. You're just giving she yourself just an enema 24-7. <laughs> okay, when you indulge your addiction, you owe it a favor. You can owe it a favor to remove one stress if you like. Yeah, sure. Okay, so sure, you owe that. coffee a favor. <laughs> I was wondering... <laughs> I can't that work on that is so weird. It's I, yeah. I get it. I get it. It means that like you owe coffee. So you are you <laughs> didn't clarify anything. So <laughs> owing a favor means that I can use it to make a move as hard and direct as I like okay. whenever I like. Okay. Meaning that makes sense. So okay. um you are going to drink your fifth cup of coffee, first of all. Oh, okay. On the shift. And you are going to hear as a suit stands at the door. It's uh, one of the people from uh, from Human Resources. Hello? Uh, her name is Sex Pot McLovin. No. Um, <laughs> Whoa, you said we that? couldn't use those <laughs> type of names for this world. game. Okay, her name is... Uh, I was going to be Pussy Galore. Is it okay? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I got two good ones. I've got... I got these are all good. Vivian Nix... Henrietta Leonhardt or Delilah Hollihan? I like what? Delilah. Delilah. I kind of like that. Yeah. Delilah Hollihan? Is that what you said? Delilah Hollihan will knock the door. Delion with me. <laughs> Whoa. I know. I already got Ophelia. <laughs> you, uh, where, 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 what kind of accent does she have? What kind of. Oh, I know exactly. Mm. You're like. 
drinking a lot of coffee. This was left for you in your mailbox. You haven't checked it recently. Hmm? Oh. I thought I'd write it down mailbox? see how you're doing. Yeah. All doctors do. Oh. For any mail that gets routed to the hospital. Your cubby. I... Right. Oh, okay. Um, thanks? Yeah, it's no problem. And Lila will go over and put a hand out for it? You know... And she'll offer the letter to you. you I will take it. She holds on to it for a minute. <clears throat> Remember that it's kind of funny. Like, your name is, like, Lila, and mine's, like, Delilah. So, like, uh -huh. it's kind of funny. It's, like, all you need is a little bit of D. You can call me D, by the way. And she'll trace a finger down your hand and leave. And leave the letter with you. Huh. Look uh, around to see if my ex is around. Your ex is not around. However, oh, thank goodness. Um, you are going to see that the letter is from Bannock, Bannock, and Bannock, which is the <laughs> name of her lawyer. <laughs> ah, fuck. Do you open it? Yep. Yeah. All right, uh, take a point of stress or a condition. Your call. I'm going to take another point of stress. All right, okay. so I just cleared a point of stress and regained it immediately. You, you did. Uh, these are alimony papers. She is suing you for half of your income. What income? That was half the problem. Well, now she wants it. Fuck. What do you do? She does not deserve it. Um... <clears throat> She, okay, um, Lila's mad now, kind of pissed off. Um, can I blow off steam so, somehow? Yeah, how would you like to do that? Um. Okay. I think she's going to go down to the... Ooh. Probably, maybe she'll go up to the roof or something, somewhere that she can be alone and like, mm. maybe she's got like a, a tennis ball or something and just start throwing it at the at the wall. Just is, like- Is that it? Is that the best you got? Can you go bigger? I don't know. I could go bigger. I'm just not sure. My head, brain's not, I can, I'll, I, I'm welcome. You Suggestions are welcome. You have a baseball bat and a cinder block up there. You have a wrecking room. <laughs> okay, sure. Is there an yeah, old okay. equipment room in the basement that you- I was gonna say old equipment. <laughs> Yeah, old equipment that's, yeah, okay, sure, yeah, that, that works. Okay, so you go to the, the old part of the hospital's basement, you yeah, know, Yeah, to go like, smash stuff. Like, frickin', like, strawed music, da -na -na, as soon as you go down in there. Yeah. And, uh... All right, it's time to start smashing. It's time to start smashing. Let us blow off some steam. How many are you gonna risk? I was gonna risk, uh, it's... I've got two points of... Stress, is that how it works? Like, if I want yeah. to clear them both? So you risk two, so you roll 2d6 plus two. And you want low. Um, if you roll a 10, it's so going to be I, so good. No, I rolled a f five total, so then That is a strong seven? hit. Oh, okay. seven? I think once I add the two, right? So I rolled uh, five. Yeah. So you catch a break, but there are some okay. complications. Reduce your stress by one. Cool. And... So you are smashing the area, uh, and as you are smashing some of the old equipment, uh, what is something that complicates this? Hmm. Does something like ricochet and fly out a window and break something, or maybe does it maybe. hit part of like? Is there someone else fire? down here? Oh, maybe. Are there two people down here? Oh yeah, sure. Okay, maybe does, they'd be smashing a different way. Does anybody want to roll to have, be uh, letting off some steam? I was going to say, is her ex down here with somebody oh, else? Oh, 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 that is accurate. So, okay, so your ex is down here with, okay. Now, is it Dr. Killian Radovich? Dr. Dominic De Decane? I think it's Radovich. Is it Radovich? So yeah. Radov Radovich looks like, not Wilson, but basically Wilson. So, um, 
from House, yeah. So he okay. basically is like curly haired, young looking, <clears throat> uh, perpetual. You know what? He looks like Michael J. Fox. You know, per perpetually okay. young looking, a little short, slightly Russian. Kind of looks like what Anton Yelton would look now if he were still alive. Mm. You know, far yeah. enough for, okay. for him. And as mm. you smash that, you're going to hear, what was that around the corner? And as you turn the corner, you are going to see your ex wife locked in an embrace with the Russian doctor, Kilian Radovich. <laughs> You? Bitch. What? I did not do anything. Not you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say my wife's ex-wife's name was? I uh, think I said it was Darlene. Darlene. Something. Darlene Richards. Darlene Richards. <sighs> Are you out of your fucking mind? You didn't want me. So I had to find someone who did. You gonna ruin someone else's career now? I know what you did. Don't worry about what I did. Worry about what I'm going to do. And she's <gasps> gonna smack you. <gasps> ladies, ladies. There is plenty of- It has of... nothing to do with you. Oh, I was going to say there's plenty of ready to go around. <laughs> Come in communist Russia, we share. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like 35. He's not, he doesn't even know what he's talking about. <laughs> so, anyway, so, Kelly, so. You're killing me, stop. What else, what can I do? Can I, ooh, can I assert my authority? You can assert oh, your no, authority. I wanna, oh, I want to show contempt. You can show contempt, yeah. So they, there also is, yeah. uh, what if my players get into a physical altercation? Um, you can also display expertise or feign confidence if you want, but I think that, or you could blow off steam on her. Ooh. No, I feel like that, that should come a little bit later. Okay, then display contempt. So you're gonna roll plus heart, you're going for low. Plus heart, I want low, okay. Um, where is my, ooh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. My heart is zero, but I got nine. Nine, all right. So you cut them open and look inside. Uh, ask one question from the list below. They may ask one of you as well. Um, how could I get your character to blank? Where is your character vulnerable? Mm. Are you telling the truth? Okay. Where is this character vulnerable, I guess? Okay, so she is vulnerable in that her parents abandoned her when she oh. was um, when she was just becoming a teenager. And so she turned to uh, basically propping herself up with physical affection from anyone who would offer it um, and got into a lot of trouble because of that until uh, your relationship pulled her out of that. And now she is spiraling now that she no longer has the the rock that you provided. And ah. you, have, you have not admitted this to yourself, but now it is laid bare before you. <laughs> oh, fuck. And um. uh, I'm going to ask one of you, and that is, um, how are you vulnerable? My character? Yeah. Um, she thinks, Lila thinks that Darlene betrayed her. And was sleeping with, um, sleeping around. And um, because of that, it got out, like there were rumors spread about that. And yeah, so she's like, feels very betrayed. And I don't know if that counts as a vulnerable or just okay. a- Yeah, you're very, you're very, um, you're very jealously guarded. Yeah, okay. So it's not, it's not so much, like it doesn't matter if she did it or not. The fact that you think she might have is enough to ruin you. Mm. You're, you're poisoned. And also reputation. Like, there's yeah. that pet part of it, too. It's like... Okay, so so you look at her. She kind of is, like, holding her clothes back on and kind of somehow shrugging them back on when the camera's not on her. What do you do? Um... Ooh, something about daddy issues or something. I know I couldn't, like... I'm sorry that you've got daddy Ooh. issues and... May I, may I suggest one? What? I know I don't look 
I, I know he looks more like your dad than me. Yeah, but, okay, yeah, there we go. I was like trying that. to figure out how to get to that. Yes, I know he looks a lot more like your dad than I do, but really, you gotta bring your daddy issues to work? At least I care about more than just my work. I loved you. And all yeah, you loved right. was medicine. <laughs> and your reputation. <clears throat> And now and she's gonna throw the letter at her feet and be like, yeah, sure. Love it enough to try and take my money too. Some love. I deserve something back for all of the time and energy I put into you getting you through medical school. I got myself through medical school. You would not have gotten anywhere without my support and my love. You, I don't know why she's, I can't she's talk only to you when you're like this. <laughs> She's Sorry. originally she's originally Hispanic. It's coming out now. Okay, all right. Um, the um, I can't never talk, talk to you when you're again. like this. Then don't talk to me anymore. Call your lawyers off. And then you can. I can't even. I need and the she's money. Just storm out. Nico is alive. <laughs> she calls at you. Her missing brother. You pause at the door, and we cut to commercial. <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> Sorry, we have a. All right, so folks, uh, we'll be we'll be right back after this word from our sponsors. Uh, we hope you're enjoying this really weird episode of The Word. Uh, I hope that if the person who created The Word is watching this, uh, and that is uh, Kevin Chroma Pet Petker. Uh, that they are not very upset that we're doing this a little sillier oh. than intended, but we're having a great time, and the system looks like it could be used for a lot of like really serious gaming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but we're just not in that place tonight. So we hope you're having fun, and we will see you in a couple minutes. Critical care on Dork Tales. When last we left, we learned that Nico was still alive. But that's not where we're picking up because, hey, that's 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 a B plot. Uh, so instead, Thank goodness. we skip to midnight. God, I love this humble bundle pack. It's so <laughs> so good. And uh, let's see, uh, Doctor Anthony Welling. You are in the middle of a surgery tonight. What kind of surgery is it? Is it routine or is it experimental? Or is it emergency? Emergency. One of the one of the people from the um, car crash. And it's Anthony, not Anthony. Oh, sorry, sorry. Just I say F one. <laughs> okay, so Ant Anthony. Anthony. Oh God, it's even worse. Okay, so Anthony. Uh, so it is what kind of surgery? Uh, an emergency surgery on someone from the car crash. Sounds good. Uh, you, what, what, what's happening here? What, what is happening? You're in the middle of a surgery trying to uh, trying to reattach something, trying to remove something. What is it? Uh, would you, I guess, surgery on like internal bleeding that isn't stopping or something like that? Absolutely, absolutely. So this uh, this person is. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna go full bore. We're gonna say that this is a uh, this is a college athlete at one of Van. It's a high. It, you know what? It's a it's a varsity hockey player on one of the college teams around here, and uh, has a potential spinal injury from this. So you're doing spinal surgery. Oh, good. On a uh, on a hockey player named Dutch Duchamp. Dutch Duchamp. Duchamp. Oh shit. Okay. So, um, I think now do you have an assistant on this? I mean they probably have a bunch of people. Is it another PC? Uh Fisher? You help me? I would love to indulge my uh my addiction and thrill seeking for a crazy okay. surgery. 
Perfect. So you're gonna stick your hand in before before Annie rolls. <clears throat> yep, I will stick stick my hand in real good. Okay. God damn it, Robin. I'm so sorry. We'll find out. <laughs> um, oh, that's uh, that's gonna be a weak hit. Okay, so that I got you, a nine. You push one on their roll, and your influence is noted for good or bad. Uh, so, how are you helping him? Um, I think she's just uh, she's she's done a really good job and and read the medical papers. Uh, spines spines are in. good. Spines <laughs> are good. Spines are good. Um, and she's just like there in the action, handing him things when he's like. Scalpel. She's like there on it. She's like just super fast nice. right beside him, like lightning fast reflexes. Okay. That adrenaline rush. Spines are good, call it a real medical paper. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. So um, I'm going to offer you something because it's a weak hit. You look down and notice that as he is working, uh, you go ahead and make me that roll right now. Would you rather, this is going to be a dangerous action, I think. So this is going to be, uh, I think this is, Probably, this is probably going to be display expertise for you. For me? Was, yeah, for you, Anthony. Sorry. So, uh, okay. Does that work for you? That works for me. Okay, so do that with a with a one put one push. One push, and my brains is plus one, so plus two. Okay, so. Oh, eight? No, seven. Nine. So that's a nine. Yeah. Okay, so you fumble, hesitate, or stall. The MC can offer you an ugly choice, an unforeseen complication, or an unpleasant side effect. Okay, so I'm going to offer you a couple of things first. So as you are working at this, his blood pressure starts dropping. Now, you think that you have two options here. Given the severity of the situation and the way that you have to be operating on the spine for this, making sure that everything is okay with his blood flow this is very bad medicine pardon me Caitlin um, but you, basically what you can do is I'm going to offer you that you can focus on fixing the spine but he might suffer brain damage but he'd be able to play sports again probably hmm. but he might have some brain issues yeah, I think uh, Welling believes in brains more than he believes in sports, so okay. and probably. I'm, so while you, just one sec while you're thinking about that, and mm -hmm. Fishy, uh, as you are looking down, I am going to say that you actually see that it looks like due to um, due to Welling being kind of out of it from emotional things from before, it looks like he has accidentally clamped an artery. You can, and that is what is causing the the problem here. It's just, it's bare, it's, it's, it's almost not noticeable, but you're gonna notice it the last second, but everyone is watching. What do you do? Do you let him try to resolve it himself? Or do you call him on it in front of everyone? I mean, I took my oath to do no harm. Ooh. So she's, she's not gonna wait. She's gonna, I guess I'll, I'll assert my authority and she will like try to remove the clamp and point that, it out and be like. That's, that sounds good. So um, I would like you to do that. So roll, uh, roll plus rep. Oh, I'm, a, I'm well, an is intern. This, is this against me? If this is against you, yeah. Then you roll plus connection. Oh, it's plus connection. Good point, good point. Ooh, I think we have a, oh, that's good. I like that. Cause I think we have a plus one. Cause yeah, you pity me. Uh, <laughs> you I'm pity me. Apparently. So apparently. Okay. So that's plus one instead of minus one for my rep. Cause my rep sucks. Cause I'm an intern. Okay. So you want high. I rolled two sixes. Yes. Are you shitting me? That's going to be 13. Okay. I will take a picture for posterity. No, if we no, need. go ahead. Um, okay. <laughs> so, um, here's the deal. So what do you say? Do you just like bark, like you're clamping down? Yeah, she'll be like, you're clamping here, doctor. And she will like go and remove it. She'll like put her hands in and- Well, no, this is, so you have to assert authority to make Dr. Welling we change his oh, action. Oh yeah. Dr. Welling, you're clamping right here. 
uh, fabulous vein. Wonderful. Um, so I'm, you, I, I, he's gonna do it. Okay. He'll he'll really you know jump into action, fix what needs to be fixed, that kind of thing. And then after everything's kind of calmed down, the blood, you know, the the beeping has slowed down beep, and, beep, as, beep, as it would beep, in the beep, distracting beep, 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 television show. Um, he's instead of like uh, taking it like being offended by it, he's gonna kind of look over and look with that sort of like thankful, but like yeah, we did it. Okay. <laughs> So, I am going to give... Without gonna, saying anything, just to... Andy, I'm going to give you a point of stress, though. That's fine. So I think... Do you have a move that can... I know, I get it? a perk. Instead of stress? Well, so... Uh, no, so in the Assert Your Authority, um, I gain a perk if I follow oh, okay. what she says. But yeah. you can, but oh, if okay. you can also give me a point of stress from the I'll situation... I'll give you a stress and a perk. Wonderful. Because you didn't, you didn't completely succeed, so I think that will cause yeah. you some stress that you almost lost a patient. But totally. then you get a perk because... You're building your relationship with your with your teammate. Yeah. So that'll work. Um, and the rest of the surgery goes fairly successfully. You think that he'll be up and skating in no time. Amazing. And uh, what 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 college team does he play for inside of Vancouver? He plays for the. Let's make up a team. He pl <laughs> he plays for the Heartland, which is a part of Vancouver now. Uh, mm -hmm. The Heartland Hawks. Hawks? Okay. Yeah. And as you are leaving surgery and scrubbing down uh, and cleaning up for the night and dropping off all of your bloodied scrubs that have been bloody for a month into ah. the. Yeah, pull <laughs> off. You are going to uh, take a step out into the hallway and his coach is going to stand up wearing full Hawks memorabilia. And um, uh, she is going to look at you. She's this, you know, quite large, very refrigerator-shaped woman. Doctor, is he going to be okay? She says. He's going to walk up and put a hand on her shoulder. He's going to play again. I got this for both of yous. Here. And she'll reach into like this big like leather duffel bag next to her and pull out a pair of Hawks jerseys that are perfectly sized. One's like a sexy sleeping size, of course, for for not for Dr. Welling, but for Dr. Fisher, it's like the sexy. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, I mean, it is what it is. It is. It depends if you wear pants. So, but uh, yeah, Small so it's, duck in it. it's all good. And um, and uh, as you as you hold this up. Uh, you are going to look down and see this Hawks jersey, and you see that it is number... 69. Oh. <laughs> number 69. 12. Number 12. Number 12, which, well, 69 for you, Fishy. Um, yeah. And it's number six, or number 12 for, uh, for Antony, which, of course, is your son's favorite. Listen, your son's favorite. Player. Listen to my words. Listen to my Thank you. This means a lot to me. It's no problem. It means a lot to me that I'll have my favorite cash cow back on the ice. I mean, player. <laughs> <clears throat> Absolutely. Uh, you'll excuse me. Uh, I'll go put this in my locker because uh, you know we're, we're on duty, but uh, I'll be I'll be happy to support the team. All right. So. Heading back into the locker room, you are you're heading back toward your locker room. And uh, Doctor Jones, what are you doing tonight? Are you in the locker room? Are you? <clears throat> um, yeah, probably. She probably after the on call room. I guess that's mm. where she was resting. Yeah. Um, she probably go back to the locker room. Um. You know why? Kind of so why? you you heard an inside tip from one of the nurses that likes you, that there is a fresh supply of scrubs hidden in the locker room. Oh shit! Yeah, that one of the Hell doctors yeah, one man. of the doctors has been hiding them, and she's oh like, "Oh my god!" It's you know what? It's your is it a nurse that told you this or a janitor? Janitor. A janitor. Okay, yeah. a, jan a janitor named Paolo was like, "Doctor." Yeah, it's Paolo. I found some scrubs, clean ones, maybe your size. 
Really? They are. They're in Dr. Gutierrez's locker. I think she stashed them before she went on maternity leave. Oh. Her lock is not so locked. He winks Thank at you. Again. I appreciate that. And Doctor. Mm-hmm. I I do this favor for you. Mm-hmm. You do a favor for me. Polo's back is very bad. Mm-hmm. It hurts a lot. I could use something to take the edge off. Mm-hmm. Perhaps you could write me a, a prescription? A prescription? I'll get you a prescription. I'll get you a prescription for a Voltaire massage. Uh, I don't know if that is covered by my benefits. Oh, it's over the counter. Oh. Okay. Well, uh, you have a good night, ma'am. And he will walk off kind of dejected. <laughs> he was trying to score some oxy off you. Oh! You know, do you want to rewind this? Because I think a doctor would automatically be like... Because yeah. my, like, for God's sake, like, my, uh, my cousin works as a physician's assistant. And, like, that's, like, okay. 90, it's 90% of her job is just, oh, like, that's... telling people, no, you can't have any narcotics. <laughs> I mean, fair, fair, fair. Meanwhile, I guess, when, yeah. The when I go to the like, hospital, they're like, are you, you sure you don't want morphine? And I'm like, I don't even know. Yeah, that's what happened when I went to. Okay. Um, when I got when I was a patient. Yeah. Um, it's okay, just when you're going to sure. work. They're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> we're, we're, we're kidding anyone who watches this. Uh, yes. I'll write you a prescription for whatever you need. Okay. Uh, <laughs> would this be... Do you want to make a roll for this? Sure. Okay. Um, so, let's see. what would this be? Do you think this would be... This is not act professionally. Do you no. want to make a... Do you want to... You could do a make a show compassion roll. You could assert your authority. Yeah, you don't really need to do that. I will just give you. I will make you a fa so you're going to do something that is illicit. I'm going to give you yeah. a perk for that. Oh, okay. But it might come back to haunt you later. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay. So All that right. is that is fantastic. So how many perks does everyone have right now? I have one now. Okay. Don't forget to take one every time you fail in a new in a new situation mm. okay and uh as that do you head to the locker room yeah absolutely okay. as you head into the locker room you are having a stressful night and mm. um as you open it up you hear the sound of rattling come on open up give me your secrets and as you round the corner, Hello. you will see uh, the form of, uh, you will see a pair of scrubs descending into a pair of Crocs, like fresh out of the shower. And the slightly wet, perfectly sculpted, hairy, like just the hairy trail up the center to the chest, like mm -hmm. like large brick-like pecs. Um, and this kind of swarthy Spanish looking man who is sitting in a, sitting like, squatting actually in front of this locker of Dr. Gutierrez's uh because I accidentally put too many S's on it um uh, who's naked from the waist up basically looking like Tom Hall or not Tom Holland uh Tom Ellis but but yep. his, but like mixed with yep. Antonio Banderas just pop the yeah. heads like, yeah I got you <laughs> okay who is trying to open up the uh the locker that you were trying to get into oh it is of course Dr. Dominic Decane. oh of course oh Dr. Jones. Good evening, Dr. Duquesne. Are you, um, <laughs> having difficulty with that locker? Um, you've caught me with, uh, yeah, not my, my pants down, but with my shirt off. Yes. I see that. My, my scrubs got raped by one of the OR patients. He's the only ones that I had available, so when I heard the rumor, there mm -hmm. might be more scrubs. Mm -hmm. I had to jump at the chance. So did I. 
You Here, have... do, you want... hmm. do you want me to try? Absolutely. You have very delicate hands. Oh, thank you. Do you try to open the locker? Yeah, yeah, let's okay. go. So <laughs> as you do that, he he's going to... Perhaps you need a little more strength to him. And he will, mm -hmm. like, he'll ghost with you. Oh, so if you know what I'm talking about, so like you're trying to open the locker and he like wraps his arms down your arms and it's like, yeah, like, like, the, like, like the pottery scene. Yeah. Yeah. He's, Cause okay. it's kind of stuck as you pull on it. And, uh, <laughs> as, as you do that, there's a, there's a moment where you guys get like a really good smell of each other. You know, that the, the kind of, yeah. <laughs> oh, what color are you wearing? <laughs> this is just how Spaniards smell. <laughs> mm. Wow, well, <laughs> I haven't had enough of that in my life. <laughs> do you like spicy food? Oh, do I? I don't know I asked you. <laughs> I do. I very much do. Would you like some chorizo? Of course. Would you like to lose some stress? Yeah. All right. Let's sleep with someone. Um, are you, you are not emotionally invested in him, right? No. All right. So in that case. I'm not. Uh, so uh, when you sleep with someone, you're emotionally ask the following questions and roll. What happens if you what happens if you don't care? Does it's nothing just, happen? Just a little fling. No stress really? I don't think No, it just true. counts as blowing off steam. Oh, if you are just having sex with someone, so, so, I don't sounds care. Good. So, so how many stress do you want to wager? Uh two again. Okay, so Let's roll me two D6. Alright. Oh, five again. Five again. You gain... So, wait, so seven, no, no. seven, seven, seven. Seven? seven? Okay. You catch yeah, a break, seven, but there are complications. Seven, seven. Reduce your stress by one. That complication is the door is going to open because it did not lock completely. No! And in walks <laughs> Dr. Stephanie Fisher catching you in oh, the act. Oh, shit. I, I, um, and she's going to, like, rip open the locker and grab some scrubs and put them <laughs> in front of her. Dr. Fisher... Didn't you ever know, didn't your mother ever tell you it is polite to knock? I'm a big girl now. How big are you? <laughs> because I could oh. use a second opinion. <laughs> I, well, of course I'm a doctor. I'd, uh, I'd love to get your second opinion. I would like you to roll Sir. to stick your hand in. <laughs> If it works, she would like to blow off some steam. If it works, <laughs> yeah. Do you wanna? Do you wanna have a hospital locker room three way? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's if, do if it. Doctor Ophelia Jones is up for it. Is Ophelia hey, Jones? Uh, well, I am your mentor, right? You gotta teach me something. <laughs> gotta teach you that something. That means that you're emotionally invested in her. Oh, I know. <laughs> okay, so ask the following questions and roll. Okay. <sighs> So, Wait, stick your hand in first. <laughs> yeah, no, I was making that as a joke, You'd, so it won't no, be that. Okay. Um, so, uh, this will be, uh, so what's going to be is I will actually, uh, I'll let you, hold on one sec. Uh, okay, so actually this is going to be your motivated role, Fisher. So I need you to ask the following questions. Uh, are both of your connections positive? Um, she has a plus two and I have a plus three. To each other? Okay, so that yeah. is... Okay, so you're plus one. Yep. Do you work in different departments? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Has this happened before? No. Okay. No. Is one of you subordinate to the other? Yes. Yep. Okay, so that's a minus one. Okay, so we're at plus one. Are either of you suffering a serious condition or a critical condition? No. No. Okay. And the other player may ask, is this going anywhere? Oh, is that me? Yeah, you may ask that. <laughs> Do you um, want... Because it started with Dr. Duke, yeah. probably I won't. Okay, so you won't. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right, so that means that you're going to roll with a total of plus one for this. Okay. <laughs> this is 
is ridiculous. I love it. You want low. Okay. Um. Oh, wait. I got. Actually, wait. No, you want you want high. Yeah, I was gonna say what. Yeah, you um, want high. I got an eight. You got an eight. Okay. Uh, it's good. You each pick from the following list. You both remove one stress. So uh, both of you get to pick one of these. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, you both remove one stress. You feel you owe them. Uh, you get plus one connection with them. They get plus one connection with you. I'm going to choose to remove a stress. Okay. Yeah, I mean... No, so you both remove one stress with that move. Oh! So by oh. choosing that, Robin, you both go down by one. Oh, my God, yeah. It's two for the price we, of one on that. We both go down, for sure. <laughs> yeah, with Dr. DeKing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That, that she will lock the door properly as she enters and turks off her scrubs. <laughs> oh, yes. In Spain, it is righty, righty, loosey, lefty, tighty. That mm. is the problem. Well, that was your issue. I'm it's normally okay. so I'm cool. glad I can help you. Let me show you the power of counterclockwise. Mm. All right. And uh, so uh, that's going to be what you pick, Robin. So both of you, both of you will remove one stress. Okay. And Caitlin, you get to pick one as well. Okay, so... So you can remove Dr. an additional stress from both of you. Yeah. Um, you may feel that you owe them. Okay. You may get plus one connection with them or add plus one to Robin's connection with you. Okay. Um, let's do plus one connection because I don't... To, the character wouldn't... Is that oh, um, you are gaining it? You're gaining a higher connection or Fisher is? Fisher is. Okay, so Fisher's connection goes up by one. All so right. Fisher, is, you bonded over this. You bonded. <laughs> no, you a bonding bonded. moment. It was a bondage moment. <laughs> oh, that too, right, that too, that why too. not? Yeah. All right, so you get properly scrubbed. And uh, scrub in. as this <laughs> is happening, uh, we are going to cut across, across to... Oop, one sec, I'm gonna drop this. Uh, so, and uh, paging, paging Dr. Richards, Dr. Richards to the OR, Dr. Richards to OR3. Oh, okay, I will head there. Okay, you are going to find at the door that a doctor is already waiting for you, uh, a surgeon named Let's go with Hazel, Hazel Sawyer. No, I don't like that. We'll go with Geraldo Griffin. Paisley Griffin, Her Paisley one. Griffin is better. Paisley? Paisley. Dr. Griffin waits for you at the door. She's scrubbed up, blood is streaked around her. <clears throat> Good, you're here. Yeah. I need your assistance inside of the OR right now. Your specialty is neurology, mm. correct? Yes. There are only two people on call right now that could help me with this, and it's got to be you. Tell me more about the situation. It's the car pile up earlier. Mm. One of the cars went off of one of the highway overpasses. We found it crumpled underneath. He was in there for a long time. The jaws of life just managed to tear him out not that long ago, and we got him here, but there's significant swelling. Mm. We think... I need someone who knows more about brains to guide me in there. Uh, of course, yeah. I need something else from you, Doctor. What might that you, be? You work with Dr. Jones. I do, yes. I need you, you should know before we go into this, who the patient is. Mm -hmm. She'll hand you a clipboard and you will see that it is Jonathan Beck, her boyfriend. Oh, oh. uh. Jonathan Beck is a really nice guy. He uh, plays guitar and is in a a, uh, a bare naked ladies cover band. Oh. The first thing Any I thought. Any good? 
Uh, I don't roll dice Amazing. in this game, so you tell me. Amazing. Uh, I feel like Ophelia Jones should tell me if he's any good. Is he any good? Sorry, uh, good at... It, the music. Hmm? Bare naked ladies yeah. cover band. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's actually pretty decent. <laughs> he's, he's pretty good. You haven't seen yeah. each other in a little while. How long has it been? It's been about a week. He was Yeah, like, thank you. Hmm. <laughs> 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 All right, that's all I needed. All right, good night. Okay. So, um, as you head inside, you'll see that yes, he is a mangled mass of of dirty sheets that have been pulled up around him, and um, you can see that we've tried we've tried to get him into into medical imaging, but hmm. the machinery's broken right now. We tried to find some spare parts down in the in the basement from some of the old machines, but someone broke a bunch of them. So we couldn't salvage them for anything. We're running out of options, and I figured that you might be able to diagnose it by touch alone. I will give it my utmost effort. Okay. Um, so can what do you? I, what are I'd you like doing? to. Ooh, would this be display expertise? This or is. Or act professionally, or. I think this is display expertise. Okay. Or feign confidence. It's one of. Or feign confidence. It's one of those um, two. So, I'm going to increase the pressure, and you're going to hear beep, 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 beep. He's crashing. It's like his brain's forgetting how to breathe. Oh, no. Um, okay, let's see. I feel like display expert. I kind of want to go display expertise. All right, do it. Um, so, is it, do I get something because it's a specialty? Yeah, you get a plus one. Ooh, a plus one. Okay, cool. And then... So for display expertise, that's roll plus brains. Plus brains. And I have a, from being the dressing down earlier I got from Dr. Jones, I have a push. Can I, does that give me another thing? I will, yes. Okay. Okay. Remember what I taught you. Yes. <laughs> uh, so brains for me is plus one, so that's... I think that all together gives me a 12. Does it? Yeah. Okay. So with a 12, uh, you have got this. Um, you get to ask follow-up <clears throat> questions on this. So okay. you, I will tell you an interesting fact about the current situation. Uh, he has developed um, an impressive swelling of several regions of the brain from the way that his skull was fractured. Um, you think that this is going to lead to significant memory loss, if not a full personality change. Ooh. You were reminded of a true story, true story, of a man who accidentally had a railroad spike driven through his head and survived ah, the rest of, of his life. Yep. Yep. Fun yep, story. A lot of brain injuries are... It also, it turned him into a nice person. <laughs> According to all stories, he was a complete asshole beforehand <clears throat> and it mellowed him out. As a, brain, a spike through the brain is ought to do. Yeah, um, I've heard that similar stories to that. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, so in that case, what can I do with that information then? You can guide, uh, you can guide her through it, and um, you can basically choose to uh, prioritize whether or not he is going to regain functionality, memory, or personality. Put them in, our, in priority. Functionality first. Okay. Mm. So he will be an existing living person who can go out and like shop and employ capital. Yeah. Um, that, good, and good, then good. it was personality or memory with the other two? Personality or memory. Okay. Let's go memory and then personality. Okay. All right. So uh, I'm going to actually give you, I'm going to give you a, a I'm going to give you a perk for this. Oh, because you did, okay. you had a twelve, and that's pretty, pretty yeah. amazing. So I'm gonna give you a perk just for fun because this is a one shot, um, and uh, you are going to have everybody in the room uh, as it, after about three hours of surgery, it is going to clear up, and he's stable. Hmm. We can move him into recovery. Good job, doctor. Maybe what I heard about you is wrong. I heard about what happened in the ER today. I want you to know, 
she says, leaning over and patting you on the uh, on the surgical gown with her bloody palms. These type of things happen. But what you mm. did here... This is who you really are as a doctor. You're going to make it. Ooh, that's not it. <laughs> Sorry, we're getting some, some strange signals. Um, she pats your arm. This is who this is who you really are as a doctor. Um <clears throat> Thank you. That that means a lot. What are you doing after this? Um Can I gonna grab coffee was my plan. How about it's address? Yeah, Sure. I know a great little cafe around the corner. It's called the Break Room. <laughs> Can I buy you a cup? My, that's my favorite place. Sure. All right, and she will take off her mask and uh, what did I say her name was? Her name was uh, Hazley Griffin. Hazley Griffin. I'm gonna say she looks like Lucy Liu. Like young okay. Lucy, youngish Lucy, like 30, 35, like Lucy Liu. So she's a little bit your senior. Okay. All right. Okay. I have to look this up because my brain does you not don't... remember. Uh, ah, okay, got it. Yeah, yeah, that that would be probably be a yes from most people. Yeah. Okay, and with that, she takes you over to have a cup of coffee and uh, just kind of talks with you about everything. It's quite quite nice. She's very pleasant. She likes the same things that you do. Gonna not bring up the ex. You're gonna not bring up the X. You're gonna not bring up the X. And uh, where is Antony right now? So it's been a couple of hours since uh, you had that had that moment. Is there like a is there like a, a, a small courtyard? Yeah, it's where everybody goes to smoke or vape or whatever. Exactly. Yeah, he's not smoking, but he's kind of like he's found kind of a dark corner to like lean up against a wall and just kind of stare into the distance <laughs> moodily. You will hear a voice from behind you as you're staring up moodily. I thought I'd find you here. Stepping out of the shadows, you see your son. What's his name? Jeffrey. Jeffrey. With a G or a J? A J. J E F F R E Y. Yes, I had this written down. Nice. Where you been, old man? Where does it look like? I'll tell you where it wasn't. With me. I can't do this without you. <laughs> Almost had it. Okay. Hmm. I can't do Whoa. this without you. Uh, grabs his shoulder, squeezes it for a second, looks off for a minute. You're gonna have to. And walks away. Oh, damn! I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna. For that, I'm gonna give you. Uh. I'm gonna give you at least one point of stress. Cool. I'm gonna give you two points of stress for that. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, that puts or you me can take a condition. What are the oh. conditions? So you can trade. So every time you take a point of stress, um, you may instead to choose to take a condition. So what tier are you in? Uh, fair still. Okay. So uh, I can give you frustrated, nervous, tipsy, or mistrusted at this level, or sick. Frust heart. Frustrated. Okay. So you will be For frustrated. Sure. So any time that the condition matches <laughs> with what is going on, I can give you a minus one. Okay. So uh, I'm frustrated. Oh, me, sorry, tier one conditions have no mechanical aspect. Okay. So would this have pushed you up to tier two? Uh, if I took if I took two points, yeah. Well, I get. Well, no, because so, I, I have one point of fair left. Okay, so that would. Don't you already start with one negative fair? Yes, but I've only taken one point of stress. So does so that mean I, you're at two already? 
sorry, I thought you meant if I take one condition and one. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So no, if if I take two points of stress, correct, I will be so in just, serious. So anytime the PC takes stress, they fill in a box. Working from right to left. Anytime the stress suffered would take the track into the next tier, the player may choose to suffer a condition instead, ignoring that. Oh, so it basically is a buffer. Okay, so I take one. So it's like temporary hit points. So oh, basically, okay. you you take enough that it fills the first cup, and if any would run over into the second cup, you can be like, no, 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 condition. Okay, cool. So I take you, one point and then a condition. So you're at three stress. So your stress is filled. Yeah. For tier one, and then you'll take frustrated. Yes. Okay. So there you go. So you'll take that, and he will, he will leave. You like will walk off, leaving him behind you. Where do you go after that? What do you do? Do I have an office? Oh uh, yeah, at your age? Yeah, totally. Cool. Uh, I'll go to my office and sit facing out the window. Okay. What do you do in there? What's what's the rest? It's like two in the morning now. Yeah. Uh, probably make a. He's probably got his own little espresso machine, so he yeah, makes yeah. himself a little espresso, um, and just kind of like, you know. <laughs> hitches a hip up on the bookshelf at looking out the window, sipping his espresso, holding holding back the tears and hoping something big comes in so he can distract himself. Okay, so you are brooding. You're indulging your addiction right now? Oh, yeah. So you can choose to owe it a favor to remove one stress. I would like to do that. Okay, that sounds good. Um, okay, how to make brooding and moping. Okay, that's, I, I, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Okay. okay. A little bit of time passes and uh, as you are kind of, a couple of hours have passed, Dr. Jones and Fisher, and as that time passes, you are going to find yourselves in the ER doing some extra pull there, right? Because it's, that's, you're overnight, that's a lot of what you're doing here. Mm -hmm. um, and as you are working ER route, you are going to hear the sound of an ambulance pulling in, and they are going to uh, to burst in the doors. And um, as they do, you are going to immediately go pale um, because you are going to recognize the person, uh, the person on the rack on the gurney. Um, the paramedics are going to say, "This happened just like a block ago. Guy accidentally walked into traffic, got hit by a bus." It's bad. Looking down, both of you will recognize Jeffrey Welling. <gasps> Dr. Welling's son. Oh no. Get him into the theater, stat. All right, so moving him to the theater. Um, do you, I mean, do you think you can handle this? I'm gonna feign competence. I'm the only yes! person here right now. <laughs> yes, all right, are you going to have fishy assist? I am absolutely going to. Is Fishy her going to be her nickname going forward because of other reasons now? Absolutely. Nice. <laughs> hey. It's a tight <laughs> ship down there. Uh, yeah, she does. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So you scrub in and we're going to feign confidence here. Yeah. Uh, let me just put on my... Can I, my... can I roll to stick my hand in it? Yeah. You, well, I mean, yeah, her... it's already, you already proved you could. <laughs> okay, so yeah. stick your hand in first. Um, oh, and I use my connection, don't I, with you, you now? You do. You do. Which is a plus four. Hey, I think you can only have up to plus three. I didn't know that. Oh, okay. Know, is it going to be up to plus oh, so, four? Okay, so you could take that connection to yourself if you prefer. I'll do that. Then. So you're yeah. both yeah. a plus three. Okay. Okay. I think that's um, the thing anyway. I think that's the thing as well, yeah. Yeah. All right, so that is going to be do 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 do. That is going to be a ten. Okay, that's a strong hit. You push two on their roll, and if they hit, you get a bonus. So, uh, Caitlin, you're gonna feign competence. All right. So, in the face of a difficult or dangerous situation, roll nerve, and in this case, plus two. Hey, perfect. Let's go. Good. Yeah, that is gonna be an eleven. An eleven. Holy yeah, crap! I have nerve plus one, so. 
Okay, you maintain your cloak of confidence. Choose one person. You definitely convince or gain some new insight into the current problem. Um, probably... Well, my pay... Oh, I guess that's a failure. Um, so he is not going to tell me anything. So maybe the paramedic is bringing him in. Okay, Can so... tell me exactly what happened. So you'll be able to gain insight into this no matter what. Okay. <laughs> so, like, because of this. So, basically, you can choose to trick people. This is because you made this roll. Um, yeah. If this is what you wanted, you're convincing people that you have it under control, whether or not you actually yeah. do. Yeah. Um, you can choose to do that or that you somehow learn what is actually going on here. You kind of see through the bullshit with yeah, your yeah. bullshitting. Yeah. Um, so, if that is that the one you want? That's correct. Let's do that okay. one. So before that goes off, stick your hand in. Uh, so Robin, uh, you yeah. can choose... Pardon me. Uh, Caitlin, you choose one yes. of the following. Okay. Uh, they owe you. Oh, pardon me. You owe, you owe Robin. Okay. You gain plus one connection with them. So you owe Robin one on this oh, one. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. 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 Hey, Dogo. Okay. We're all super... We're already super connected. We're okay. very so, connected. So... Um, so that character now owes you one as you're diagnosing the situation. You you are in over your head. There's so much trauma. There's so much trauma. Like yeah, it it's just massive body failure. He's going into shock. Everything is going wrong. There's only two doctors in the hospital that might be able to help at the moment. One of them is Dr. Lila Richards for the brain injury portion. Or you could violate protocol and have a family member perform surgery, which might be the only option because Whoa. of your lack of funding and equipment. I think I'm going to have to go with the more expertise and to follow the specialist in. Okay. All right. So um, I'm going to say that the old equipment means that Dr. Welling does not have like an overhead pager that he just has like his pager and phone, right? And as he sits yeah. in his desk brooding, I am going to spend the you owe your brooding to say that you turned off your phone <gasps> to brood. Oh no. Your son needed you and you missed it. And the camera's gonna pan to to the silent phone just. Okay, so in that case, yeah. he doesn't answer, which means you only have one option. And that is- I thought you were gonna was the old equipment. Dr. Richards. Dr. Richards, so Dr. Ri Dr. Richard, hold on. Dog, hi dog, hi dog tour. Hi, Christine, <laughs> can you call Doggo? Go get her. Go on. Medical Doggo. Go, Dr. Dog. Go on. Go. He doesn't Dr. Not... Welling's gonna need the therapy dog when he finds out his <laughs> son got hit the by the bus. The dog won't leave my side right now because I'm in surgery. <laughs> oh. 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 Knocking everything over. Good job, Thunderbutt. Okay. All right, so Dr. Richards, you show up and scrub in. Uh, Dr. Paisley has gone home for the night. And you see this horrible scene in front of you. Uh, this is uh, your mentor's son. Oh, fuck. And he Java. will die. I need you to focus up. Can you do this for me? Yes, of course. Um, can I feign competence? Uh, yes, you may. One moment, please. <laughs> uh, so feign competence. Uh, I think in this case you'd actually have to perform the surgery. Oh, so like this, would, this, yeah, because I mean her expertise is neurology and psychology and bureaucracy. Her her specialties, not necessarily. I don't know which part of surgery you're expecting, unless you wanted to do the like, psych neurology part. Uh, this is going to be the neurology. Okay, in that case, display expertise. I guess this is going to be display expertise, and I am going to. Uh, I am going to call in your addiction. Oh. Uh, and am I... I... Yeah. So you, you roll, roll. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so... so I can do a move. Okay, so... Um... Okay, so I've got plus one for the specialty. Okay, and this so is first off, which I'm going to give you a point of stress immediately for okay. having to operate on his son. Yes, so that's... I'm at two stress right now. That's what I've okay. got. Okay, so... Yeah. Um. Uh, okay, so... And what... What did you roll, first of all? So, I rolled on the dice a total of seven. Okay. And then I 
specialty is plus one, and I have brains plus one. Okay, so what's the total? So it'd be nine. Okay, so this is... Now, would anybody like to stick their hands in? Yeah, can I? You can stick your hands in. I would love to. So you roll plus connection, which is minus three. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't. Do it. You, no, do come it. On. you said it. You gotta. You I gotta. I did say it. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I believe in you. What'd you get? I got a five. <laughs> okay, so I will tell you what happens. Uh, so, uh, first of all, gain a perk. Hey. Okay. Uh, put life in the balance, increase the pressure, scramble or sever a connection, impose or worsen a condition. Uh, I'm gonna say he starts to crash. Oh, shit. Uh, Ophelia tries to help you, but she doesn't know enough about brains. No. Because her specialty is internal medicine, which is, I'm assuming, below the chin. Yeah, um, usually. So yeah. she tries to stabilize him uh, and is uh, unfortunately increasing the uh, the edema inside of the skull. Mm. Um, basically trying to get fluid out of his lungs as he's filling. And uh, it is... You know what? I'm going to say that her working next to you like that, you are distracted by the smell of sweat and passion. Oh, no. And the smell of Dr. Stephanie Fisher's perfume. Perfume. Uh, rating, uh, rating, rating off her as well. Your best friend is was awfully close to Dr. Jones, and you can smell it. It's confusing and weird. Weird. This is weird and confusing. Good. Huh. Um, can okay. Stephanie help at all? If she's in the room. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna say so. But first, I'm gonna inflict a point of stress on all three of you in the room. Okay. From that fail. So I'm in. All right. So I'm at stress three. You're at stress. I believe. So is that? Does that bring you over? No. But if I get one more, I will be at serious. Okay. Which is push minus one or something. Got it. Okay, so what I am going to do is... Some of these are really weird. Uh, I am going to... Tell them a possible consequence. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Dr. Fisher, I would like you to make a roll, please. So you to stick your hand in as well. Yep. So you may do this with your connection. Well, um, can I also use my specialty for either emergency care or handy? Uh, yes, I'll let you use one of them. Okay. All right, so can my connection, am I helping Lila? You are helping Lila. Okay, my connection <laughs> with Lila is, what is it at? I think it's minus two. Oh, no, it's zero. It's zero. It's zero, because okay, cool. you didn't take no, anything. No penalties. Okay, yeah, I, so I, I really hope you fail. <laughs> Kelly, I hate you. What'd you roll? <laughs> Double ones, baby. Oh, so that's a no. three. Okay. That's a three. So Lila, they're trying to help you, but it's I just too you. far gone. It's just too uh -huh. far gone, Lila, Lila. So I'm gonna use a move to make a choice for you or offer you okay. a, a choice. You can okay. save his life or your reputation. Oh shit. Um. Reputation, save the reputation. Okay. Oh. And you are going to do that. So how how does he does he just bleed out? I think so. I think yeah. Okay. It's just it, horribly traumatic. There's nothing I can do. It's beyond my scope. I can't. Okay. <clears throat> so there is going to be <laughs> as you all walk out of the OR in slow motion. There's nothing you could do. Uh, everyone here is going to take two more points of stress from being directly responsible for the loss of a patient. <laughs> Can I take conditions instead? Yes, you may. Uh, what are the conditions? I don't know if anyone's taking So you yet. are going to take... Uh, Krista took one. You are going... Oh, I'm going to okay. suggest that you take... Hold on, I've got so many pages to flip through. Uh, mm. I suggest that you take... Oh, they were stuck together. Uh, I would... Frustrated and mistrusted Ooh. are two. Frustrated is okay. And I'll take both. Um, 
And uh, I am going to make a very blatant move for this and uh, have Dr. Welling rushing down the hall in slow motion, having had a nurse come to get him, but it's too late and you will see each other in the hallway and that look passes between you. That slow shake of the head and just falls mid-run and just like lands on hands and knees. Uh, Anthony, you're going to take three points of stress. Yup. Okay. And uh, are you doing anything with each other? I would like to, what is it, offer compassion or something? The, the, the show compassion. Show compassion? Yes, you may. So uh, that is going to be plus heart. Okay. Um, and since I took conditions, I don't have penalties yet, I don't think. So how many stress are you at? I'm at three and two conditions. So if they're, they're basic conditions, so you do not have them yet. These are just narrative okay. at this point. Okay. But so, I'm a yeah. jerk, so I'm going to use the last part of that and, and inflict another point of stress on you from seeing All Anthony. Right. Okay. So yeah, there we that go. will. That means I have a minus one. That means you'll have a minus one on this, yeah. Yeah, showing... Oh, sorry. Just uh, showing compassion towards someone in need. Okay. Loop this a over. Plus heart. <laughs> oh, no, don't turn it up. <laughs> Blast it. That's going to be a three. Oh, oh no. shit. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. If it's heart, because I have zero heart. And I rolled Apparently. four on the dice. Do you have any special any, any bonuses that'll help? Neurology, psychology, bureaucracy. No, but you like any of your moves? Oh. Mm, Harsh don't... lessons. Oh, no. Oh, idealistic. idealistic. If you, okay, you can take minus one stress to turn it into a weak hit at seven or nine results. Yeah, you can take one stress to turn it into a weak hit. Yeah. I could do that. I'll do that. Sure, yeah, no, that's okay. more important. You gotta remember your moves, guys. I'm sorry. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, um, I'm at five stress so and two conditions. Ask up to two questions from the list below. They may ask you one as well. Okay. Uh, what is really troubling your character? <laughs> uh, how can you help? How can Where? I help? Okay, so, <laughs> and what would you like Amy to do? Yeah. Where is your character vulnerable? Hmm. Yes. Yeah, those are pretty obvious. So, um, so how do you connect with each other? Like, I want to, I want to know what happens. Do you just, do you hug them? Um, do you? She's going to offer, not because she's all gross and bloody and stuff, um, whatever, but she's going to put a head, do that whole hand on the shoulder thing that we've seen a couple times this episode and we'll be like, I'm so sorry. Uh, he, he didn't he, feel a thing. <laughs> and then, <laughs> sorry. Um, um. It was, it was, it, yeah, it was quick. Yeah, the whole thing. Um, he didn't suffer. Um, what can I do for you? Uh, he's, I, I imagine this all in like, just music with no like, totally sound yeah. going on. And it's just that like, s that like silent scream, right? Yeah. Uh, and he's, yeah. <laughs> the camera pulls just, back. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, and he's just like got you by this part. And he's just kind of like head of his hand and just crying and just leaning yeah. on you. Okay. Checks out. All right. So are you going to ask anything of Amy? Or is that uh, pretty Oh, I ask. I can ask one of those, right? Um, yeah. No, I don't think so. Because. I think it's pretty. Why would you be have... vulnerable? What's really troubling? You could ask what's really troubling. Uh, I guess. Yeah, I don't know how I'd ask that, but you think that she could have, she could have tried harder. Okay, yeah, he'll he'll pull back a second and look her square in the eyes, like knowing that she was the one that was working on it, and see and see if I can. The... No, no words exchanged. Just okay. Sure. See if okay. there's any guilt there. Um, I think maybe there would be a little bit because she's not completely heartless. Holy fuck. So you'll look away, you'll... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seeing that, he'll push back away and 
turn down the hallway and just like sort would of you, not like mood walk away. Would you like to blow off some steam? Uh, yeah. How much stress would you like to risk? I'm gonna risk. Where am I at? You're at uh, a lot. I'm gonna risk three. Sure. All right. So um, roll, roll three I'm gonna plus. go. I'm. I'm gonna go wreck my office. Okay. Oh, you're not gonna blow it off on on her. No. Oh, okay. He's too professional for that. He's gonna go just destroy his office. So usually, oh wow, you can only usually blow off steam at the end of a session. Interesting. Oh, interesting. Yeah, you build up and build up and build up, and then you erupt. But I'll oh. allow this. This is the this is we're nearing the end of the session. Is so that double it. ones? That's double ones, baby. Okay, oh, no. you. That is perfect. So you gain a real relief or respite, reduce your stress by the amount wagered. So you are going to do that. You're going to smash your office, and as you do. You are going, like, you're going to smash your desk and all of that. And as you do, the, a photo of you, your son, and your wife is in the center of the room. Yeah. And you are going to fall on it, hugging that number 12 jersey you were just given. <laughs> yep. Pounding the ground. I can't take this seriously. This song. All right. Um... Later, as your night shift comes to a close, you will... Dr. Fisher, you will be getting ready to go home, finally. The, the night is worn thin on you, and you will hear a voice echo through the locker room. Dr. Fisher. It's me, Dr. Jacquin. Yes, Doctor? I... Uh, I need to know. Tonight. Is it going anywhere? Are you hesitating? <laughs> yeah, she's hesitating. Oh, oh, hold on. I have something for this. You hesitate and... Eh. <laughs> what? What? There we go. Sorry. I see. I had hoped that you would be... My senorita, instead, you are just the picante fling. Oh, doctor, no. doctor, I've, Duquesne, wait, I've, I've, he I've rushes changed out. my mind. He rushes out, it's too late, he's rushed out into the hallway. You're the only chorizo for me! <laughs> and as the night goes on some time passes and we'll see like a montage of people getting on with their lives and hearings about the death of uh, Dr. Welling's son and Dr. Welling standing outside of Hawk Stadium perhaps even going into a bit of drink and then we also will see that uh, Dr. Jones you are given the announcement that uh, that Beck Beck was in an accident. He was in the accident, and he doesn't. He doesn't want to see you. A few weeks pass, though, and as the episode draws to a close and the music swells, there will be these shots of you all crying and drinking, and then a shot of. Dr. Jones throwing up into a toilet. And then a look of... And with a shaking hand, we reveal a pregnancy test. Her phone rings on the sink as the camera pulls out, dropping her into low focus. And we see that the caller is Dr. Dominic Duquesne. 
And that is the end of the mid-season. All right, there we go. So that is that is this one-shot episode of The Ward. Did you did you all have fun? Oh my, oh my yeah. god! Oh my god! god. Did we nail it? Did we do it? I, I did I it. Think I think so. we did it. I think we did it. I think I think. Oh, we, oh. my face hurts. Oh, shit, same. My face hurts. So my abs hurt. <laughs> I've cried my crow's foot off. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you're so young looking, and I, I only know, had to I'm like kill like so many. So we I, we did mess up the rules. So sorry if oh, uh, if Magpie oh is watching this uh, or uh, Kevin Chroma Petker. So sorry about uh, winging some of the rules and making it a little sillier. We I wanted to run this for a really long time, but it, it's one of these games where it's kind of hard to figure out how you want to run it until you're in it. Because yeah. mm -hmm. I'm sure we could run this as like a house episode. Oh, absolutely, oh, yeah. 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 for sure. Well, and, and with the blowing off steam only happening at the end, it's like, it, well, if you're doing a one-shot, it kind of has to... Yeah. Everything yeah. gets condensed in a one-shot, so right? So usually, yeah. the, the way well, that it goes is at the end, you do pre-op, which is the start of the session, intra-op, which is all of the fiction, post-op, which is the end of the session, which... Oh, it's a final blow-off steam. So they always get oh. at least one. Oh, okay. So, never mind. I think we did it right. Good. I think we did it pretty well, honestly. Yeah, I think we did great. I thought that was pretty hmm. fun. I loved, I, I love it when characters have things like addictions, and like yeah. the flaws there. Where it's like I make a Faustian pact, and I'm like, I'm here for that. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to lose? This is this is amazing, by the way. Watch this: dentist, doctor, dentist, doctor. <laughs> See, I it's just, a magic trick. I just, I just love that you've now. We're like in. forever changed us for the oh, song. Yeah, yes. anytime that song hours, comes out, listen to my you're hours. gonna play it in other games, and we're all gonna die. We're gonna all and then die. other people are gonna be like, "What the hell's wrong with those?" Yeah, why are you guys like, oh, oh, so. It's not. It's not a bad it's song, a but in that context, it's a serious scene too. Yeah. In the oh my yeah. god. Oh, well, because it, because it became the what you say. That's a good song. It's a great song. I love that song. But in the when you hear it. It's just the SNL at, sketch at, of yeah. the, everyone yeah. shooting each other. Yeah. I was going. The alternate ending for this episode was either a werewolves oh my God. or B was going to be um, someone Air getting wolves. shot by Nico. Well, oh my God! Because yeah, Nico's still dead. alive. Because Nico's yeah. alive. <laughs> Bang! Oh my yeah. God! Um, they told hey, you I, mean, I was alive. Maybe on the Lila. side. Oh my God! Maybe that's the the side the side plot yeah. for the, later in the season is Lila getting shot by her by exes. That's that's brother. the final shot of the episode, or like one of the final shots of the episode, or even the after credits. It's like oh, yeah, yeah, him so, stepping so off yeah, of the plane. Yeah. So you, yeah. well, or no, no, what we hear is tch, 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 the sound of heels walking toward a parked car inside of the hospital's garage, and you hear boop boop as Doctor Lila Richards approaches, or whatever stand-in from yeah. the back we got for the scene because yeah. Amy was busy. <laughs> and, exactly. Uh, you'll hear. Lila, you didn't think you could kill me, did you? And then you'll hear bang as it goes Wait, to black. Wait, Lila was the one that tried to kill him? Oh, shit. Maybe, what maybe. The alternate maybe. scene is just turning around and going, it's you, and then getting yeah, shot, yeah, and then being yeah, like, yeah. you, you, you don't even see who yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. That's, yes, that's, yeah. The, that's the one, that's the one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect oh. Oh, Jesus. And then the alternate, oh, alternate yeah. ending is werewolves raging through the, yeah. Put us through yeah. a writer's yeah. room, let's do you this, didn't, let's yeah. go. You didn't go. think you could stop us, did you? Oh. <laughs> Nico's a werewolf? <laughs> Nico's a werewolf. <laughs> oh, werewolves of Heartland. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, best by day, day. Werewolf, werewolf doctor. I mean, definitely werewolf expected doctor. one of the doctors to be Doctor Utker. Yeah. Dr. Utker. <laughs> oh yeah. Was his delicious my brain just, it, I'm like ah. the multiple layers of references uh, included yeah. in that. Holy shit. Ivy. A, yeah. Ivy, I need an IV stat. Ivy <laughs> <laughs> stat. I need Ivy stats. Give me an Ivy stat. <laughs> Okay, my strength is a, I did a, a 10, my, my, my charisma is a, as an 8, and I, <laughs> so she, so that's how you, that's how you Wait, her charisma is an 8? No, it's not. Oh. It's, that's, it's, that's, that's, the, that's the it's dream like, sequence, whoa. and this was all a dream sequence of the werewolf game. <laughs> ah. It's just, it's just like, God, the, the final, the final oh, cut fuck. is just, it's Link, it's Link waking up and <laughs> <laughs> I gotta stop smoking pot before bed. <laughs> <laughs>
Listen to my word. Listen to my word. <laughs> I accidentally left the song on loop before going to sleep. Right. <laughs> After <laughs> watching an episode of Grey's Anatomy. Yes. Yep. It's just, it's, it's you watching the DVD and it's just the right? like. It's, and yeah, you know what it's, yeah. The yeah. Scene like, it's just like on yeah. the couch, he wakes up, there's a dog with its head on his stomach. Yeah. The cat is like, oh. why does this dog keep showing up in the hospital? It's because it's like, oh, hey, hey, Daisy. Um, yeah. I think this should oh, be an episode fuck. of something. Let's just write a series. Oh, God, yeah. Critical care. Oh. So this is now going to be a TV oh, show that's on we go. in the background. Uh, because there, yes. there actually was a thing called Critical Care. It was a movie in 97, because I was Googling really? all of these different oh, names for God. this. Oh, okay. yeah. And Critical Care seemed like the most fun role-playing name for this. Yeah, it's good. It's yeah. good. Um, lo losing my patience was another one. Um, oh, that's again. <laughs> that was pretty good. Um, I mean, that would have worked for the ending of this one. Uh -huh. I think so. Okay, I my brain just keeps going Doctor Jones in my head, yeah. like the Jones, song. Jones, 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 Jones. That's why. That's why you yeah. did it, right? Jones, yes, Jones. absolutely. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's oh, right. Right. Like, so can I be Doctor Jones? Yeah. Yeah. No, can I, be I know Jones? what you were doing. <laughs> exactly and I was like, what you did. Ophelia Jones, and you're like, yeah, amazing. Jack Nicholson face. <laughs> God, Jack Nicholson face. There's a great story about Jack Nicholson, and it's uh, apparently John Candy because we're Canadian, right? So John Candy. Um, John Candy apparently had an amazing work ethic and like would always show up to shoot sometime, me. and was like super professional. Except for one day in the filming of I forget what movie. I think it was a John Hughes movie, and he shows up late, completely blasted, like just drunk, and he's like, "I'm really sorry, John." I have an excuse. I was out at a bar last night and Jack Nicholson was there. <sighs> because apparently Jack Nicholson is the only guy that is, this, this might be, this might be Apocryphal. just a rumor. Apocryphal. Um, but apparently um, he has gone out with, um, uh, who am I thinking? Who am I thinking? Keith, uh, Keith Richards. And Keith Richards was like, I gotta call it a night, Jack. <laughs> that I does have... not surprise me. And Jack no. Nicholson apparently is just like a monster at drinking and partying. <laughs> and if oh you look at him, God. you can kind of see it. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Absolutely. He, he, oh, yeah. yeah. It's great. I love that man. He's so crazy. <laughs> yeah. He's so. Yeah. Uh, folks. Thank you so much for watching Critical Care here on <laughs> Dork Tales. If you like what we do here, give us a follow or give us a sub. Hey, because, hey, we're still accepting them. If you're watching this on YouTube, give us a sub here. And don't forget that you can also support us on patreon.com slash dorktales. You can also listen to this on podcast when it's uploaded, as well as all of our Rhyme of the Frostbane episodes, which will be up very soon if they are not already. Uh, I really want to thank you for enjoying this really weird episode while i'm on vacation and uh i also wanted to thank my players for being here tonight so why don't we go around and uh say who you are what you do and where they can find you uh let's start in uh let's start with robin hello uh i've been robin uh well no i've been dr <laughs> sexy fisher but uh dr sexy I, fisher I, dr S fishy fisher <laughs> um but yeah it's been an absolute blast this was so much fun i i hurt from laughing so hard and i'm forever changed by that song um but you can find me at dork tales with uh doing more role-playing stuff and uh i'm hoping to get back into doing more con consistent streaming at second gen gamer on twitch yeah. yeah uh krista where can we find your beautiful face hi uh, oh, handsome I'm face Chris. right now oh yeah right now very much. I think it'd be both. I, both, exactly. All the same. He's, he's uh, handsome, but... you, can, you can find me uh, here on Dork Tales occasionally, more so coming up in the near future. Mm, um, but you can also find me on YouTube at Laser Comb Productions, L A Z O R C O M B. That's a um, Z for everybody in America. Yes. <laughs> That's a, Christopher always says Z. I always say Z. Um, but you can, I, I do a, a podcast that is also available video wise uh, on youtube called based on where we talk about movies based on books and the books they're based on i'm wrangling kelly in soon I was about to, to ask talk you. about yeah we got to we got to book a time it's i, I was going to do it after time you get book. back from your vacation there you go i bought a copy oh did you can um, i borrow that when you're done absolutely you can Perfect. uh <laughs> uh yeah uh, other than that you can find me on tiktok at jahista fx perfect uh caitlin hello i'm caitlin um i you can find me here on dark tales as telfrin every friday 
basically. Um, and also on Instagram um, at Petite Medic. And nice. I, I actually really ho do hope to do some more streams or some streams in the future on Twitch at also Petite Medic. You can basically find me on any social media at Petite Medic, except for Twitter. Because yeah, I was no one, one year, because I was one year too, too late, but that's Petite underscore Medic. Uh, I feel that Dork Tales is, belongs to a French webcomic on certain platforms. Uh, I know, but it's not that one platform. It's the one platform. But anyway, yeah, so no, I'm fair. Petite Medic. And uh, nice. And I'm really, I'm excited. really excited. So, my little baby announcement is that um, so we've got the cast of our new upcoming. Uh, Monday Night Slot game, Wild Beyond the Witchlight, and uh, it is now a completely full cast uh, of five players because Caitlin just joined. So, Caitlin, you'll be seeing more of her shortly. Yes! I'm so excited, awesome. actually. So and stoked. Really it's it's going to be really good. Your character's all great, and the art looks phenomenal. Uh, but let's bring it home. Hi, Amy. Hi, I'm Play Amy, and... I, as you may have seen, was playing Dr. Lila Richards here today, and um, you can usually find me also on Dork Tales in many games, including uh, Reign of Emery's on Friday nights, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's a lot. I'm not going to go through it. There's, there's um, like six. There's yeah. a lot. There's like, there's several. Um, this was so but... amazing. <laughs> many things, many things. But where and... can we find you streaming? But you can find me streaming on Twitch at twitch.tv slash paradoxical ghoul. And on most social media, I am paradoxic ghoul. Nice. So I might switch it back to paradoxical ghoul. But I wanted the pun, but I don't want to change the, yeah. you know? You've already got you your know? brand. You got your brand. Yeah, it's good. Yep, I stream a lot of stuff, so yeah. Nice. At weird hours. So we hope you enjoyed this episode of The Ward and that you tune in for more content because we've got at least one more surprise probably coming up for you during this holiday that we're away for. Uh, but with that, I wanted to say um, good night, everybody. And of course, to my word, to thank you for watching. Listen to my words. Listen to my words. <laughs> Good night, everybody. All right, dance party now. <laughs> Have a good time, guys. We'll see you next time. Listen to my words. Listen to my words. Listen to what I gotta say. Listen to my words. Listen to my words. Don't matter. Don't matter. Don't matter.